to safer harbors ahead. And like the rock-solid foundation it's built on, at Bank Rhode Island, we're proud of our financial strength, which customers trust to help them manage and achieve all of their personal, investment, and business banking financial goals. Bank on our strength. Bank RI. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. At Cox Mobile, we know you're smart. You brush your teeth in the shower to save time. <laughs> make coffee ice cubes for your cold brew. Mm. And wear goggles to cut onions. You also added Cox Mobile. So smart. Now you're running on the network with unbeatable 5G reliability and saving on your Cox Internet. It's ingenious, just like you. Aw, oh, thanks. Cox Mobile, the smart way to mobile. Cox postpaid internet required. Cox Mobile runs on the network with unbeatable 5G reliability as measured by Ookla LLC in the U.S. to H 2023. Other restrictions apply. Learn more at cox.com slash mobile. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Protect your vehicle's engine with Syntec and O'Reilly Auto Parts. Syntec Premium Full Synthetic Motor Oil is formulated for today's engines to dissipate heat and friction and reduce wear. Get five quarts of Syntec Full Synthetic and a MicroGuard Select filter for just $33.99. Limit supply, see store for details. Get Syntec only at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. Spring Fest starts now with new savings at Lowe's. Right now, get up to 35% off, plus save an extra $150 on every $1,500 you spend on select major appliances. Discover the new GE Appliances range with removable easy wash oven tray for easy cleaning in your dishwasher. Because Lowe's knows home improvement. Valid 4-1 through 5-1. Savings vary based on purchase amount. Selection varies by location. While supplies last, see Lowe's.com for details. More Boston sports opinion, more often. Just download the Odyssey app. Now, back to Red Sox baseball on WEEI. And this is the Mass Mutual pregame show. Talk to Mass Mutual today. Feel comfortable about tomorrow. Red Sox and Angels getting set to match up in game two of a three-game set from Angel Stadium in about 35 minutes. Before we go any further, let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. Along the Shaw's and Star Market, WEEI Red Sox Network. From the WEEI Studios, 93.7 WEEI-FM and HD1, Lawrence, Boston. Always live on the free Odyssey app. Before we get to the Alex Cora interview, let's see uh, who's in the tub. The injury report presented by New England Spas. Create your own home paradise with a soothing new hot tub, swim spa, sauna, or cold plunge from New England Spas, the home relaxation specialist. Visit New England Spas in Natick, Norwell, Auburn, or soon in Warwick online at nespas.com. Wanted to get to this now because it just came down the pike from the Red Sox officially that they have placed Trevor Story on the 10-day injured list with a left shoulder dislocation and to fill his spot on the active roster the club recalled david hamilton from triple a worcester we knew david hamilton was in anaheim but the move now official with trevor story on the 10-day injured list with a left shoulder dislocation before every game we interview red Sox manager alex cora brought to you by your new england ford dealers now during truck month get a great deal on ford f-series america's best-selling trucks for 47 years straight and official truck of your, your Boston Red Sox. Came to in Anaheim with the manager, Alex Gore. We'll get into all the good from this trip and last night, but uh, everybody is wondering about and thinking about Trevor's story. We know he's taking some pictures right now, trying to find out the extent of it. Uh, what are you thinking about Trevor right now? Just got to wait and see, to be honest with you. Uh, there's there's nothing we we know. Uh, we, we have to be patient with this, and, uh, you know, he's, he's in the hospital right now, and hopefully we get good news. Uh, you know, in a few hours. He's such an instrumental part of everything you guys do. And we've seen the impact that he makes defensively at the plate as a leader. It feels like he's a calming presence for your team. Do you see it that way? Yeah, but you know what, Will? Uh, yesterday is a testament of who we are right now. Yeah. You know, like we turned the page. It's not that we turned the page. I don't want to sound like, make it sound in a bad way, yeah. but we kept playing, you know, and this is 
where we at as an organization. We we love Trevor and he's part of this, you know. But uh, if he's going to be out for a while, we got to keep going. That's that's the bottom line, you know. And uh, he knows it, and he'll be there for us whenever he's there for us. Hopefully it's tomorrow. Hopefully it's uh, Tuesday. If that's not the case, we cannot take a step back here. You know, we got to continue. You know, when what we're trying to accomplish, you know, uh, is 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 interesting in this market. How one injury becomes like huge. You know, yeah. like it's so negative. You know, and yep. you look around the league, everybody's getting hurt. You know, everybody's playing with a a guy down. You you know, and uh, we we got something good going here. We we trust the process. We trust the talent that we have. And uh, you know, with Trevor or without Trevor, we're gonna continue. Speaking of the process, six wins in the first eight games out west. You've got to feel some personal pride in the work that you guys put in the plan you laid out because you have hit the ground running in the very way that you said you wanted to do all the way back to last October. Yeah, we we I'm very proud of the coaching staff. I'm very proud of the players. It's, it's something that. Uh, uh, you know, it took a lot of work, a lot of meetings, and uh, a lot of messaging, you know. And uh, one of the things that I, I know, I lived it here, you know, it seems like those first two weeks are very important in Red Sox Nation, you know. Uh, lived it in 18, lived it in, in 21. Uh, the others, you know, we, we struggle, and then you have to, to go and uh, try to catch up, right? And in a division that everybody's good, right? And, uh, you know, um, we, we, we needed to start off the right way. And uh, if you look at spring training, and yeah, they're exhibition games, but you know when a team is good. You know when people are playing well, you know? And, you know, I, I, if I ask you who's struggling in spring training, you probably don't have a guy, you know, like it seems like everybody played well, everybody did their job. Yeah, you know, some guys hit 180, 190, but they put good at bats, they played good defensively, they ran the base as well. It was a very professional quote unquote approach and uh, we, we are just continuing with the process, you know, and it's been fun to see it. It's, it's, I'm telling you, man, I'm having a blast with this team. It's really fun to watch from our perspective. Six and two, you got two games left. It's almost like you're playing with house money here, these last two in LA. Is it even something you have to communicate to these young kids to try to keep the foot on the gas pedal i think they don't know any better <laughs> which is awesome you know like you don't have to explain them what's going on they they love it you know uh and they're they're playing good baseball man uh, and you know one of the things that we talk about is competing all the way to the end right like we have to compete all the way to the end the right way in the last two years we competed in September, but not at the level that is expected at this level. And yesterday, you know, going back to the injury, yeah, you know, we took a hit. We were down a little bit because we really care about the guy. But at the same time, we kept going. You know, we kept playing. Uh, you know, we didn't. We have one of the worst innings uh, this season, right, <laughs> defensively. But then we continue. We put good at bats. The big man came uh, came in. Uh, his cutter was really good yesterday, and uh, we got the W. And as like I always said, man, big league Ws, you have to celebrate them because they're they're hard to come by. You keep talking about the numbers, the sort of under the hood stuff on Kenley's cutter. Is it the horizontal movement, the action, the spin? What is it that makes you feel so good about that pitch? Yeah, talking to Bells, uh, it's just last year. You know the the characteristic of it. You know, it, it's a unicorn, right? Yeah. It, it's, it, it's, his cutter is is unique you know and it's the action of it the horizontal uh the horizontal break of of the pitch and last year like i told you yesterday he was relying on velo you know and that's that's why he he was really good you know but the cutter wasn't near as good as in the past and uh they've been working on it they were working on the grip and uh the release point so you know i'm very very happy where we at I know yesterday, you know, he came in throwing 89, and I bet a lot of people were like, oh, gosh, what's going on here? I look at Bells, I say, are we, are we good? He's like, yeah, we good, we good. The action is good. We should be fine. I think people forget how important Jaron Duran is to your team. When he was on last year, you were at your best, and that is clearly the case again. He changes so many things, puts pressure on a defense in so many ways. You have to be so happy with the way he's picked it up. Yeah, Will, and, and I think it was after New York, right? Uh, he gets he gets hurt against the Yankees yep. uh, in the last game of the series in August. Then Casas get hurt, so we play without those two guys for a month and a half. People forget that, yeah. and we were... Uh, a playoff caliber team at that point so uh it's just one of those that 
you know, it, it was hard to see, right, because uh, we had something going, or had something good going. But, you know, I'm glad that he's healthy. I'm, I'm glad that he's smiling. You know, he's having fun. He's been very open about his situation, yeah. which is awesome, right? Uh, I mean, uh, use this platform the right way. And he's not afraid to talk about uh, his situations, right, and anxiety and all that stuff, you know. So uh, he's a good player. He's a really good player. Uh, I texted somebody the other day. Actually, it was uh, the legend, Peter Gammons. I said, uh, he, he texted me about Jaron. I said, uh, in this Theo Ball era, because Theo was the one that came up with the, with the rules, this guy is the perfect player for this. He can hit the ball out of the ball, ballpark. He hits the ball the other way. He steals bases. He puts pressure. And, uh, you know, it's a joy to watch. There's a twinkle in your eye when you talk about this group, sort of like us against the world. Let's prove everybody wrong. Uh, is it more fun to manage a group that you believe in that maybe the people on the outside might not? Yeah, I think people don't don't see it the way I see it. You know, I'm not going to BS you. You know, like if we needed more work or we needed to to play a lot better to to win games, I'm the first one to admit it. But, uh, you know, the pitching thing has been training, you know, kind of like I was like, OK, this happens, we're gonna we're gonna be okay. The defensive part of it, although the last two games have been <laughs> tough to watch in a sense, but uh, we feel like you know um, we're good defensively. We're athletic. You know, you look at the field right now. You got Rafael at second. Hammy's taking ground balls at short. You got Bobby at third. You know, we got versatility. Tyler O'Neill is a good player, you know, and uh, you see Reese McGuire swinging the bat well, and uh, Connor is going to be fine. So it's a good baseball team, man, and, uh, you know, let's win the series, move on, and uh, be ready for Tuesday at home. It should be fun. A couple more quick ones for you. Tyler changes everything for this team. Uh, it's been fun to watch him in person. I mean, we all saw him from afar in St. Louis, but the quality of the at-bat, the, the pitches that he takes that get him in hitters' counts, it's just been really fun to watch. Him. Yeah, he doesn't panic. He doesn't panic. Yesterday, um, you know, he knew what he wanted to do in the first at bat. Uh, then he talked about the second one. He missed a changeup in the zone that he was looking for. Uh, in the in the in the at bat that hit hit the home run, he got a sink, sinker in, way in, and he just took it. And then he went after uh, the next one. And in the outfield, he moves. You know, uh, is a. Uh, I've been saying all along, you know, people are going to love him in Fenway because the way he plays, you know, he plays with an attitude. He enjoys the game. And, um, you know, I've been saying this all along, you know, he's a good player. <laughs> Lastly, you know, Whitlock, you know, your starters the first time, just awesome. Um, what was the report with the readouts with you and Andrew looking at the stuff that you always, you know, dissect so carefully with him? What did he do well and what do you expect here today? You know what? One of the things that he did besides the metrics and all that, he adjusted during the game, right? Mm -hmm. uh, they were looking sitting soft and then he started using his sinker and uh, he did an outstanding job doing that. The changeup is a key and, you know, and his changeup. We kind of lost it for, for like a year and a half. It was still a good one, but it wasn't the elite changeup that we saw in 21. He's healthy. He's strong. Uh, he, he wants to start, you know, though he won't say that. And, um, you know, we expect him to go out there, at least give, a five, give us five. Actually, today is uh, five and a third. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> yesterday. The average. Yeah, 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 yeah. We need to get back to that one. Thanks so much, Alex. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you, Will. All right, that was Alex Cora chatting with our very own Will Fleming. So much great stuff in there uh, about Jaron Duran and then that last bit about Garrett Whitlock. If you're just joining us now, some news did come down the pike about 20 minutes ago from the Red Sox. They have placed Trevor Story on the 10-day injured list with a left shoulder dislocation. So David Hamilton called up from AAA Worcester, takes his spot on the active roster. But you can hear it from Alex Cora's voice. There is an us against them type feeling with this team, with the the, the lack of expectations in Boston with the Red Sox. But listen, they're out to a six and two start, hoping for another victory against the Angels. And if they can get it today, it would be a series win for the Red Sox against the Halos. You can watch the Red Sox pregame show on Twitch. Just follow W E E I. Don't miss the Subaru of New England. A lot to love event details at Subaru of New England. Dot com. Coming up next, we'll get you a Subaru of New England scoreboard update for you. Check on scores around Major League Baseball. Again, it's the Red Sox versus the Angels coming up in a little over 20 minutes from Angels Stadium. I'm Joe Wild. This is the Mass Mutual pregame show. Talk to Mass Mutual today. Feel comfortable about tomorrow. Now you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile. 
So whether you're playing a game at home, yes, goal, or attending one live, goal! you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile at cox.com slash internet. Other restrictions apply. For centuries, the lighthouse at Castle Hill has been a trusted guide to safer harbors ahead. And like the rock-solid foundation it's built on, at Bank Rhode Island, we're proud of our financial strength, which customers trust to help them manage and achieve all of their personal, investment, and business banking financial goals. Bank on our strength. Bank RI. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. Wow. Wow. Was that a double wow? It was. I replaced my windows and patio doors with Renault by Anderson, and I can't believe how great my home looks and how great my energy bill looks, too. By installing new custom energy-efficient windows and doors from Renewal by Anderson, it's not just wow, it's double wow every time. Hurry and take advantage for the Renewal by Anderson 30-day sale. For a limited time, buy one replacement window or door and get one replacement window or patio door 40% off with special financing available. Schedule your free design consultation at RenewalByAndersonDeal.com. That's RenewalByAndersonDeal.com. Restrictions apply. The Leukemia and Lymphoma Society is daring you to dream of a world where children no longer suffer from cancer. The Dare to Dream Project is focused on helping as many children as possible by changing the paradigm of pediatric cancer treatment and care. The Dare to Dream Project is funding groundbreaking research as well as expanding services and driving advocacy to aid all children with blood cancer to get accessible, affordable, and quality health care. Donate today at LLS.org. That's LLS.org. Spring Fest starts now with new savings at Lowe's. Right now, get up to 35% off, plus save an extra $150 on every $1,500 you spend on select major appliances. Discover the new GE Appliances range with removable Easy Wash Oven Tray for easy cleaning in your dishwasher. Because Lowe's knows home improvement. Valid 4-1 through 5-1. Savings vary based on purchase amount. Selection varies by location. While supplies last. See Lowe's.com for details. Replace your worn-out brakes and save now on BrakeBest Select. BrakeBest Select Pro are import direct brake pads and rotors only at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. And now, two pigeons bemoaning the fact you can stream direct TV satellite-free. Hey, Frank, a little birdie told me you don't need a satellite dish to get direct TV. What's the little birdie? Was it Jimmy the Sparrow? It's a figure of speech. Point is, you can stream direct TV over the internet now. Oh, sure. Next you're going to tell me those big birds are made of metal and filled with people, right? <laughs> you mean airplanes? Stream direct TV without a satellite dish. Call 1-800-DIRECT-TV. Terms or restrictions apply. The world needs ways to reduce carbon emissions. We're working on solutions in our own operations. Like carbon capture. And clean energy from hydrogen. So, who are we? Believe it or not, ExxonMobil. And our solutions could help industries like manufacturing, commercial transportation, and power generation too. Heavy industry with low emissions. Let's deliver. Learn more at ExxonMobil.com. You know that Big Bargain detergent jug is 80% water, right? 80% water? If you want a better clean, Tide Pods are only 12% water. The rest is pure, concentrated cleaning ingredients. Ooh, pass me the intercom thing. Attention shoppers. If you want a real deal, try Tide Pods. If it's got to be clean, it's got to be Tide Pods. Water content based on the leading bargain liquid detergent. Save on Tide at Target with a Target gift card. Restrictions apply. Terms and conditions apply to gift cards. For details, go to help.target.com slash help. Pros. Lowe's has the appliances you need for every job. GE Appliances kitchen suites and laundry pairs are built to last and in stock when you need them. Right now, get a GE Appliances stainless steel kitchen suite for under $2,000. Plus, with our lowest price guarantee, if you find a lower price on the same item, we'll match it. Because Lowe's knows pros. Exclusions and terms apply. Learn how we'll match price at Lowe's.com slash lowest price guarantee. The Rich Keefe Show, weekday afternoon, starting at 6. Now back to the Shaw's and Star Market, WEEI, Red Sox Radio Network. And this is the Mass Mutual pregame show. Talk to Mass Mutual today. Feel comfortable about tomorrow. 
The first place Boston Red Sox take on the Los Angeles Angels in game two of a three game set coming up in a little over 15 minutes from Angel Stadium. The Red Sox, of course, will be without Trevor Story. He was placed on the 10 day injured list with a left shoulder dislocation. That's how they officially said it. And then Craig Breslow. Uh, the chief chief baseball officer, of course, with the Red Sox, saying it's a subluxation, uh, which I wish I could tell you more about. But uh, that is the specific diagnosis for Trevor's story with that left shoulder. Uh, it's time now to get you a look at scores from around Major League Baseball. It's the Subaru of New England scoreboard update. Don't miss the Subaru of New England, a lot to love event. Details at SubaruofNewEngland.com. I mentioned the first place Boston Red Sox. They're tied in first place with the New York Yankees, who lead 9-6 to at Yankee Stadium against the Toronto Blue Jays. It's in the bottom of the sixth inning in that contest at Yankee Stadium. The Yankees were shut out in their home opener yesterday, but they jumped out to an early lead in this one. Aaron Judge hit a home run in the first inning, a two-run shot, and then Giancarlo Stanton went deep as well. Kevin Gossman, rough outing for him, an inning and a third, four hits, six runs, five earned, two walks, and he gave up two bombs. So again, the Yankees leading 9-2 to two in the bottom of the sixth inning at Yankee Stadium. The Orioles got walked off uh, against by the Pittsburgh Pirates. 5-4 the score. Pittsburgh on top in 11 innings. It was O'Neill Cruz who had a walk-off single in that contest. And then Tampa Bay in action right now against Colorado. Rockies leading 4-1 to one through 4. Tampa Bay, they've lost 4 out of 5. They're 3-5 and five to start the season and now down against the Rockies team that is 2-6 and six overall on the season. Finals round Major League Baseball. The Dodgers a 4-1 winner over the Chicago Cubs. Yoshinobu Yamamoto earns his first victory in the big leagues. He tossed five scoreless innings for the Dodgers today. Struck out eight, gave up just three hits in those five frames with two walks. The Phillies a 5-2 winner in the nation's capital against the Washington Nationals. JT Real Muto hit a three-run home run in that contest after an intentional walk was issued to Bryce Harper. Cincinnati scored five runs in the bottom of the eighth inning. They beat the Mets at home by a score of 9-6. to six. Spencer Steer hit a go-ahead three-run home run in the bottom of the eighth inning in that contest. Oakland picks up their second victory of the season, a 4 nothing win over the Detroit Tigers in Detroit. Paul Blackburn, he tossed six shutout innings in that contest for Oakland. Cleveland, a 3-1 winner over Minnesota at Target Field. David Fry hit a three-run home run in that contest for the Guardians, but... Some bad news for Cleveland. Shane Bieber, he will have season-ending Tommy John surgery. St. Louis, a 3-1 winner over Miami at home. So the Marlins are 0-9 to start their season. couple games in progress in Major League Baseball right now. The Rangers with a 3-2 lead over the Astros in the bottom of the seventh inning in a rematch of the ALCS from a season ago. The Mariners, a 5-3 lead over the Brewers in Milwaukee, top of the ninth inning there. The Arizona Diamondbacks, they scored six runs in the first inning against the Braves. They lead 8-5, to five, the D-backs over the Braves in Atlanta in the bottom of the seventh inning. The Padres with a 4 nothing lead over the Giants. That's in the top of the second. Jerks and Profar hit a grand slam in the first inning uh, for the Padres in that contest. And going back to the Braves, bad news for them. Spencer Strider today underwent an MRI that revealed damage to his ulnar collateral ligament in his right elbow. So that is some really bad news for the Braves, for one of their top pitchers uh, uh, on their roster, and another pitching error in the Major League Baseball Players Association actually today put out a statement, and it blames the pitch clock for the injuries. The league, of course, countering that claim. But some injuries around Major League Baseball, mentioning two there with Bieber and Spencer Strider. Of course, the big injury with the Red Sox, Trevor Story now on the 10-day injured list. And uh, the Red Sox will try to uh, keep it going without him as Pablo Reyes, the shortstop today, taking Trevor Story's pot. want to thank Nico Manganiello. Fantastic work behind the glass. I'm Joe Weil. You've been listening to the Mass Mutual pregame show. Talk to Mass Mutual today. Feel comfortable about tomorrow. Hang tight. Red Sox Angels game two of a three-game set coming up next on the Shaws and Star Market WEEI Red Sox Network. You've been listening to the Mass Mutual Red Sox pregame show. Proudly brought to you by Mass Mutual. Talk to Mass Mutual today. Feel comfortable about tomorrow. The Red Sox are coming up next on the Shaws and Star Market WEEI Red Sox Radio Network. Now you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile. So whether you're playing a game at home, yes, cool, or attending one live, no! you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile at cox.com/internet. Other restrictions apply. 
It's renewal by Anderson's 30-day spring sale, and there's no better way to freshen up your home than replacing your windows and patio doors. For a limited time, buy one replacement window or patio door. Get one 40% off, plus special financing available. Renewal by Anderson installs custom Fibrex windows that are energy efficient and are as beautiful to look at as they are to look through. Get started with their free no-obligation in-home consultation today. Visit RenewalByAndersonDeal.com. That's RenewalByAndersonDeal.com. Restrictions apply. Spring Fest starts now with new savings at Lowe's. Right now, get up to 35% off, plus save an extra $150 on every $1,500 you spend on select major appliances. Discover the new GE Appliances range with removable Easy Wash Oven Tray for easy cleaning in your dishwasher. Because Lowe's knows home improvement. Valid 4-1 through 5-1. Savings vary based on purchase amount. Selection varies by location. While supplies last, see Lowe's.com for details. Replace your worn-out brakes and save now on BrakeBest Select. BrakeBest Select Pro are import direct brake pads and rotors only at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. Rejuvenate! On your feet, microfiber. Sir, uh, yes, sir. You do realize you're joining a mop 10,000 microfiber strong. And what are we? Powerful and washable and... And we have 75% more cleaning pad area, sir! At ease, recruit. Save your strength for dried mud. Rejuvenate cooking clean. Clean is a powerful thing. Rejuvenate reusable pad cleaning size versus leading competitor pad cleaning size. Your car's dings, faded paint, and scratches aren't going to fix themselves. At Mako, paint damage repair is as easy as book, quote, fix. Come to Mako to refresh your ride with a paint and collision repair backed by our best price guarantee. Uh Uh-oh, better get Mako. Subtle results, still you, but with fewer lines. Botox Cosmetic, out of botulinum toxin A, is a prescription medicine used to temporarily make moderate to severe frown lines, crow's feet, and forehead lines look better in adults. Effects of Botox Cosmetic may spread hours to weeks after injection, causing serious symptoms. Alert your doctor right away as difficulties swallowing, speaking, breathing, eye problems, or muscle weakness may be a sign of a life-threatening condition. Patients with these conditions before injection are at highest risk. Don't receive Botox Cosmetic if you have a skin infection. Side effects may include allergic reactions, injection site pain, headache, eyebrow and eyelid drooping, and eyelid swelling. Allergic reactions can include rash, welts, asthma symptoms, and dizziness. Tell your doctor about medical history, muscle or nerve conditions including ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease, myasthenia Gravis or Lambert Eden syndrome and medications, including botulinum toxins, as these may increase the risk of serious side effects. For full safety information, visit BotoxCosmetic.com or call 877 351 0300. See for yourself at BotoxCosmetic.com. Pros Lowe's has the appliances you need for every job. GE Appliances kitchen suites and laundry pairs are built to last and in stock when you need them. Right now, get a GE Appliances stainless steel kitchen suite for under $2,000. Plus, with our lowest price guarantee, if you find a lower price on the same item, we'll match it. Because Lowe's knows pros. Exclusions and terms apply. Learn how we'll match price at Lowe's.com slash lowest price guarantee. This is NASCAR driver Tony Breidinger, inviting you to make a pit stop at Raising Cane's for my favorite craveable chicken fingers. Turbocharge your order and get it even faster when you order online or with the Raising Cane's app. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers. One love. Raising Cane's is not affiliated with NASCAR. This is... And the Boston Red Sox are the world champions! Red Sox Baseball. And it is good! Shaws and Star Market, WEEI, Red Sox Radio Network. For the first time in 86 years. The Red Sox on WEEI are brought to you by Shaws and Star Market, perfecting the art of fresh. Holy cow. 110 Grill, gluten-free dining done right. Arbella, here for baseball fans, here for good. Brought to you by Azek Exteriors. Visit www.azekexteriors.com. Mike's Amazing, the official mayo and mustard of the Boston Red Sox. And it's gone! Sitgo. When you start with Sitgo, you're good to go. Sponsored by DigSafe. Call 811 before you dig or visit digsafe.com. Drains by James. Eastern Massachusetts leader in drain cleaning and pipelining. And that ball is gone into the front row of the monster. 
booster seats. Herb Chambers. At Herb Chambers, we don't sell cars. We help people buy them. Morgan & Morgan. Injured? Hire Morgan & Morgan, America's largest injury law firm. Cars for kids. Old car giving you problems? Why not donate it? Call 1-877-CARS-4-KIDS today. Northern Bank. New England Ford. Ford Trucks. Official truck of the Boston Red Sox. Looking up! Sponsored by Sherwin-Williams. The Sherwin-Williams Pro Plus program helps you manage and grow your paint business. Sponsored by Nissan. At Nissan, we make cars that thrill. Experience the thrill for yourself. Shop NissanUSA.com. Town Fair Tire. Nobody beats Town Fair Tire. Nobody. We're going to drive the left field down a couple runs. Way gone. Subaru of New England. Love spring in the all-wheel drive 2024 Subaru Forester. Verizon, the network Boston relies on. Log on into the monster seats. Now, with all the play-by-play -play action, here's Will Fleming and Tyler Murray. From beautiful Anaheim, California, it's time for another production of Boston Red Sox Baseball on the Shaws and Star Market WEEI Red Sox Network. With Will Fleming, I'm Tyler Murray. So glad you're with us on a Saturday night in Southern California. The Boston Red Sox have the longest winning streak in baseball with five in a row, including a thriller yesterday. It's the longest winning streak, not even tied for first anymore, as the Chicago Cubs dropped their first game in six tries earlier today to the Los Angeles Dodgers. Plenty to dive into today. News coming down about Trevor's story. He's hitting the injured list. David Hamilton gets the call up from AAA. And we'll have more on that in just a moment as Will Fleming joins us momentarily. But it's an opportunity to turn the page. And as Alex Cora said, he was awfully impressed with how his team battled through the adversity and the tough moment of losing Trevor Story to a, what has officially been deemed by a Craig Breslow as a left shoulder subluxation. He says they will find out more on Monday. What can they, they can do further testing back in Boston. And then Tuesday is the home opener. The team that's uh, taken the longest to finally get to play at home is these Boston Red Sox. But they come in with a record of 6-2. and two. Garrett Whitlock gets the ball for the second time against a tough lefty in Reed Detmers. We'll break it all down after the National Anthem, which is brought to you by BuildSubmarines.com, where you'll find stable, sustaining, skilled trades, careers helping bring the next generation of U.S. Navy submarines to life. We build giants because it takes one to build one. Here is the Star Spangled Band. Wonderful anthem on a beautiful night in Southern California. The Red Sox at six and two in first place until the Yankees finish their game, in which they have a big lead. Welcome to the Big Halo. Will Fleming and Tyler Murray as Ramon Vasquez, who's been hot with the lineup card. The Sox winners of five straight as Garrett Whitlock makes his way out of the Red Sox dugout, and uh, Sox looking to make it six in a row. Tyler and uh, sort of unsurprisingly. It is a right-handed heavy lineup. Uh, how about the starting lineups for tonight's ball game? Yes, it is time for the Morgan & Morgan starting lineups brought to you by America's largest injury law firm. And including David Hamilton, who was just called up, every bench guy today 
is a left-handed hitter. So you got every righty in this lineup against the southpaw, Reed Detmers. Jaron Duran leads things off. He had the game-winning home run in the eighth inning yesterday. Pablo Reyes, he's the starting shortstop now, and he will hit second. Rafi Devers, hoping for his first career hit against Reed Detmers, will bat third and play third. Tyler O'Neill, a well-deserved bump up to the cleanup spot after two home runs yesterday. He's the right fielder tonight. Then Bobby Dahlbeck, big opportunity, right-handed bat against the southpaw Detmers. He's 0 for 6 this year, though, with five strikeouts. Tristan Casas had his first homer of the year yesterday. He will bat sixth again and play first base. Then the bottom third of the order, center fielder Sadon Rafaela. Catcher Connor Wong, who's had a hit in all three games he's been able to play in so far. And N. Manuel Valdez, the second baseman, rounding out the order against Reed Detmers. Here's the starting nine for Ron Washington's Angels facing Garrett Whitlock tonight. Anthony Rendon had an infield single yesterday, so he's one for 23 this year. He'll lead off again and play third base. Then it's Nolan Shonowell, last year's first-round pick of the Angels, playing first and hitting second. Mike Trout himself is the center fielder, batting third. And Taylor Ward, the cleanup man and left fielder, who had a uh, five-game RBI streak snapped yesterday. He's back in the four spot. Aaron Hicks makes his weekend series debut. It's his Angel Stadium debut as a member of the LA Angels. He's the DH batting fifth. Then Logan O'Hoppy, the catcher with a grand slam yesterday, he will bat sixth. Bottom third of the order, we get a first look at Luis Renjifo, the second baseman. Mickey Moniak is the right fielder hitting eighth. And Zach Neto once again, the everyday shortstop and pretty consistent nine hitter will round things out against Garrett Whitlock. And of course, as Tyler told you at the top, the headline around this club is Trevor Story. The subluxation, the technical term, the dislocation of his left shoulder. He will get more testing. Just the body language of Craig Breslow. He seemed more optimistic than not, but uh, we will wait and see and what the full picture is for Story. Alex Cora, before the game, just thrilled with the bounce-back effort of these Red Sox yesterday after the Story injury, and they are looking to make it six in a row. Again, the Sox go in the road grays, and here comes Jaron Duran into the left-handed batter's box against Reed Detmers. Sox in SoCal. First place on the line early in this season. Trevor Story is smiling in the dugout with Ramon Vasquez on a 58 degree Orange County night. Detmers home red tops above white pants. The southpaw extends his hands high above his head. Comes to his belt in the first pitch to Duran. Is a strike right there on the outside corner. 95 miles an hour. And it's 0-1. He's got a good arm, does Detmers. He's been very good against the Red Sox in three career starts. 0-1 to Duran. The pitch, that's a little bit high. He is, of course, close to home where he makes his off-season life. And he went on the off day down to see his personal hairstylist and made the color change. 1-1, the pitch is fouled back. To the screen and it's one and two. He said she's a master of color. <laughs> she was able to mix up the combination, the perfect mix to make it look like it's natural brownish black. We didn't notice it yesterday. It was in the stocking cap before the game. One and two, the pitch he is outside. That was a slider and it's two and two. She's still able to keep her master designation after the initial die job with the blonde. I don't know if that was overwhelmingly popular, but I love Jaron Duran being himself. He said he was tired of hearing about it online. <laughs> Ready for the home opener, the 2-2. Swing and a miss. He got him, did Detmers. That was a really good slider. And so Duran is retired. Got a couple of good breaking balls to worry about. Well, he throws the fastball a lot, but... Slider there at 88. The curveball, opponents hit just 191 against it last year, so some really good secondary stuff from Reed Detmers. Dan Bellino's the home plate umpire tonight. Bill Cuzzi at first. Tony Randazzo at second. And Alex Tosi in the rocking chair at third. Just underway. And here's your new two-hole hitter, Pablo Reyes. He bluffs the bunt, takes a strike on the outside corner. Good slider. And it's 0-1. Pablo in high spirits, as always, before the game today. He will be thrown into the fire more with the injury to Story. The 0-1 swing and a miss. They call that a fastball on the board at 87 miles an hour. It's not quite Detmer's four-seamer, but whatever it was, it's 0-2 to Pablo Reyes. Detmer's 
in three career starts. 2-9-3 ERA. Five runs in 15 and a third. 0-2 oh, to Pablo with Devers out on deck. Just underway. The pitch. Swing and a miss. He blew him away. That was the fastball at 96. Up and out of the zone. Two hitters faced and two fan for Reed Detmers. And here comes Rafi. Yeah, I think that previous pitch had to be the changeup. And that means it's a 10-mile-an-hour separation between the change and the heat, 86 to 96. That's tough for anybody to get. Detmers won his debut in Baltimore six days ago. The left-hander winds, and here is Rafi. Good to see him in the lineup. Breaking ball, the big sweeping curve on the corner for strike one. Devers took that pitch off his left hand right above his middle finger. And as Cora told me before the game, no big deal. The 0-1 swing and a foul back, a 96-mile-an-hour fastball, and it's 0-2, and, and Rafi wincing a little bit, head slanted. Nobody in the whole sport gives you more body language between pitches. It's 0-2 to Rafi, two down in the first. Open stances ever. Rafi's got the pants at the knees tonight, and he takes just inside. That was very close. Slider, it's one to two. I bet you in 150 starts or so for Devers, he will do this at most three or four times. Trying to break down a little bit tonight. It is one and two to Devers from Detmers. Angels, as Tyler told you, I've got outfield alignment shaded over toward left center field with Trout anchoring things in center as Rafi just stays alive. A foul ball that got him on the foot and he bounces around. Trout in center with Taylor Ward in left with Mickey Moniak in right. Sean Well at first. Luis Renjifo is the second baseman for the Halos. Neto at short. Anthony Rendon at the hot corner. One and two. Detmers delivers, and Rafi swings and misses, and Detmers blows the Red Sox away. He strikes out the side in order in the top of the first. No score. Halo's coming up against Whitlock next. Bottom one on the Shaws and Star Market. WEEI Red Sox Network. Now you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile. So whether you're playing a game at home, yes, cool. or attending one live, no! you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile at cox.com slash internet. Other restrictions apply. Wow. Wow. Was that a double wow? It was. I replaced my windows and patio doors with Renewal by Anderson, and I can't believe how great my home looks and how great my energy bill looks, too. By installing new custom energy efficient windows and doors from Renewal by Anderson, it's not just wow, it's double wow every time. Hurry and take advantage for the Renewal by Anderson 30-day sale. For a limited time, buy one replacement window or door and get one replacement window or patio door 40% off with special financing available. Schedule your free design consultation at RenewalByAndersonDeal.com. That's RenewalByAndersonDeal.com. Restrictions apply. Spring Fest starts now at Lowe's. Right now, get up to 35% off, plus save an extra $150 on every $1,500 you spend on select major appliances, like the GE Profile 2-in-1 Combo Washer and Dryer. In about two hours, you can wash and dry a full load of laundry, all in one machine. Because Lowe's knows home improvement. Valid 4-1 through 5-1. Savings vary based on purchase amount. Selection varies by location. While supplies last, see Lowe's.com for details. Oh, oh. O'Reilly. Check engine light on? Take the guesswork out of your check engine light with O'Reilly Veriscan. It's free and provides a report with solutions based on over 650 million vehicle scans verified by ASE certified master technicians. And if you need help, we can recommend a shop for you. Ask for O'Reilly Veriscan today. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Radio Network. Hey, it's Rob Rest Center. This is the home of the Sox, W-E-E-I. Garrett Whitlock's first pitch to Anthony Rendon. is a fastball for a strike on the inside corner, 94. And Garrett, who was very good in his debut in Seattle. Five innings, one run, is into the wind. The 0-1 is looped into right field, and that's a base hit. And Anthony Rendon has his first true knock of the year. And he's aboard to lead off the first. Alex Cora 
as you may have heard on our pregame show, told me how pleased he was with the in-game adjustments that Whitlock made in his first start. And he said, the goal today after Cutter went four and two-thirds, we need at least five and a third from Garrett Whitlock. <laughs> that average back to five innings per start. No score in the first, the leadoff man aboard. And here's Nolan Shanoel, who takes a pitch low and in. Four ball one, left-handed hitter. Casas holding Rendon, who's running, and the pitch is in there for a strike throw to second. In time, they got him. An absolutely perfect throw from Wong. I'm sure that Ron Washington will want to look at that. Rendon got a great jump. The ball was right there in the glove for Pablo. He hardly had to move his hand, and he will be out. And Pablo held on to the snow cone after the tag. That was spectacular. We'll check the pop time and velocity, but that was just brilliant from Connor Wong. He literally met the glove at the arm. You said that's a perfect throw. So the leadoff hit a race. Now ground ball to the right side. Backhanded by Casas, covering Whitlock in a perfect feed from Tristan. What a turn of events that that is, and now two down. Well, this is not normally an aggressive base-running Angels team. They were second-fewest in the league last year in stolen bases. Jaron Duran is doubling them up in successful steals this year, but we saw Ron Washington try a suicide squeeze late yesterday, trying to get something going here, but Connor Wong has other plans. Old school for Wash. Here's Mike Trout with two down. Whitlock throws, and Trout takes one right there, a fastball on its own. One, I mean, Rendon does not run well. That is a real gamble that totally backfired on the Angels. It felt like a little bit of a press there as the pitch is just outside to the three-time MVP. Sweeper for Whitlock, and it's one and one. So Wong threw an 83-mile-an-hour, let's say, fastball to second to get him. Elite pop time, really, for much of the year a season ago. Second only to JT Real Muto in terms of Getting it, transferring it, and firing to second. Two and one. Here's the pitch. Trout fouls it off. Third base side, and it's two and two. Still bright skies overhead. The sun, obviously, this time of night as we near the 7 o'clock hour is setting in SoCal. Much warmer here today than it was yesterday. Two balls, two strikes to Mike Trout. Here's the pitch outside. And, of course... He was the man who put the ball in play that led to the Trevor Story injury. He hit it so hard that Trevor really had to dive and overextend himself. Here's the 3-2. Chopper foul outside of third. Trout is third in the Herb Chambers batting order, brought to you by Herb Chambers Toyota of Auburn and Toyota of Boston. Three and two. Low and in. He walked him, did Whitlock. Sort of a statistical oddity. This is the 21st career start for Garrett Whitlock. And in three of them, the opposing starter has been Reed Detmers. That is an oddity. And we were talking earlier about a, a matchup that is easy to forget because it was just an hour and 57 minute game. Here's the pitch to the right-handed hitting Ward, and it's skied down the right field line. Foul. Oh, he's going to get there. O'Neal came in. Casas went out. Uh, the play in its own one. That was a brilliant performance by both. April 16th, Whitlock one run over seven innings. Detmers two runs in six and a third. It is 0-1 to Taylor Ward. No score. Runner aboard with two down in this first inning. Pass is at first, Valdez at second, Pablo at short with Devers at third. Oh, and one. Pitch. That's a beauty. And that's the sweeper that he's trying to perfect against right handed hitters. And it's 0 and 2. Uh, Garrett has tweaked so many of his offerings this season. The one seam fastball, he's now got the up and down slider he prefers against lefties. The 0 2. Where did that miss? That was very close. A sweeper. Could have been called a strike. Was not by Alex Tosi. And it's 1-2. Rafael is in center field. O'Neal in right. And Jaron Duran, the red-hot Jaron Duran, is in left. Casas holding Trout at first. 1-2 and two with two down the pitch. 
Swing and a miss. He got him. Great changeup. And the inning is over. What do you know? Another pitcher's duel between Whitlock and Detmers. We go to the second inning. Scoreless on the Shaw's and Star Market. WEI Red Sox Network. Now you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile. So whether you're playing a game at home. Yes. Cool. Or attending one live. Go! You'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile at cox.com slash internet. Other restrictions apply. Your green lawn starts right now at Rocky's Ace Hardware with Scott's Four Step. One lush green lawn, four easy steps. Spring, late spring, summer, and fall. Get to Rocky's now for instant savings up to $75 off the full program. Scott's Four Step gives you fertilizer, insect and rodent control, and protection against weeds, fungus, and disease. Buy now at Rocky's and save. Save big for the season. Rockies also has mulch, soil, rakes, shovels, and tools. Rockies Ace Hardware. For more, find your store at rockies.com. Wow. Wow. Was that a double wow? It was. I replaced my windows and patio doors with Renault by Anderson, and I can't believe how great my home looks and how great my energy bill looks, too. By installing new custom energy-efficient windows and doors from Renewal by Anderson, it's not just wow, it's double wow every time. Hurry and take advantage for the Renewal by Anderson 30-day sale. For a limited time, buy one replacement window or door and get one replacement window or patio door 40% off with special financing available. Schedule your free design consultation at RenewalByAndersonDeal.com. That's RenewalByAndersonDeal.com. Restrictions apply. Replace your worn-out brakes and save now on Brake Best Select. Brake Best Select Pro or direct brake pads and rotors only at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. Hi, this is Von Gerson. You're listening to Home of the Red Sox, W-E-E-I. Look out below. Here's Tyler O'Neill to lead off the second inning. Two homers yesterday facing... Reed Detmers, who absolutely blew the Red Sox away in the first inning. Three strikeouts. Now O'Neill, who takes the fastball a little bit high and outside for ball one. O'Neill in, in his career. In the Extends his arm. Now sets to the belt. The 1-0. Down and in. Tyler told me before the game that he's just happy with the swing decisions he's making. He feels locked in. He's finding barrel in the middle of the zone, and he's got a 1490 OPS, 2 and 0. Here's the pitch. That's a strike. He told me. I said, "Is this like as hot as you can be?" He said, "Well, I'm probably not going to end the season with a 1500 OPS. I'd like to see it. Two and one to O'Neill, leading off the second. Detmers throws, and O'Neill takes low and in. Again, more strike zone command. That was a changeup that missed badly. And it's 3-1. and one. This becomes a dead red count for him. Well, he's just not missing mistakes right now. We'll see how fine Detmers wants to get on 3-1. Here's the pitch. Swing and a foul. He got one right there. Notice I didn't predict it this time. We told Tyler. <laughs> That uh, he made your first major league game extra special, a prediction of a home run. He was very pleased to hear that news. The pressure's on now, Will. He wants you to say it every time. He told me. We need more of that. <laughs> Three and two. Here's the pitch. Swing and a foul. Back to the screen. This feels a little bit more like a, I don't know, a double in the gap, something like that. Okay. But Demers is so locked in at the moment. He is such a pleasant guy, Tyler O'Neill. He's really lifted this club. No score, top two. In Anaheim, Detmers again stretches his arms high. The pitch to Tyler O'Neill is way outside, ball four. And again, just a great plate appearance for O'Neill. He's not swinging at pitches out of the zone. He's aboard to lead it off for Bobby Dahlbeck. And you picked up a few things that stood out as base running yesterday. He was blowing a bubble while almost making a diving catch. <laughs> How about after watching his team strike out the side on 13 pitches? He works a seven-pitch walk to start the second inning. He does so many little things to help this team win. He does indeed. That's his sixth walk. Leads the club as Bobby D takes it down and in. Four ball one. And Alex Cora said before the game of Bobby, who has struck out in five of his six first ABs, we want him to swing. We want him to be aggressive and hit it out of the park. O'Neill's got a big lead, the pitch. Swing and a high fly out of play down the right field line. Foul, and it's one and one. Talbeck second in the Herb Chambers batting order. Brought to you by Herb Chambers Porsche Boston and Porsche Burlington. 
Tyler's doing it all here today in game number two in the big leagues as Dahlbeck waits one and one. O'Neill leads the pitch. Swing and a miss. He took a big rip at a 95 mile an hour fastball, and it's one and two. Open the broadcast, getting us set up with our Herb Chambers reads on day three. You know, my, my goal coming in was to make your life as easy as possible. You're failing in that so far. One yep. and two to Bobby D. <laughs> Pitch. Straight three call, bottom of the zone. A little extra time taken by Dan Bellino to ring him up. Change up at the bottom. All back now, six strikeouts and seven ABs. That's the fourth victim for Detmers. And here comes Casas. That's a perfect spot on the down and inside uh, corner with the chain. But yeah, back just missed the first fastball at 94. And that put him in a hole. Here now Casas, who launched one last night. Pitch. Swing and a miss. Fastball in on the hands. And it's on what he told me. That's my best bolt last night. Absolute missile for his first homer of the year. He's driven in three. And he looks so comfortable to play it in. Casas knows himself so well, and even 0-1, he decides this is the time to take time. Steps out, now back in. O'Neill at first with one down in the second. No score in Anaheim. Detmers from the belt, looks to first, holds and throws, and Casas swings and misses. You will not see Tristan take many cuts like that. He was totally fooled there, I think. Seems pretty clear he was guessing. Breaking ball, very late on a fastball in its own two. And sixth in the Red Sox starting lineup, brought to you by Morgan & Morgan, America's largest entry lock from 02, way outside. Good take by Tristan. Yeah, it's a ball and two strikes. Another big crowd here on a Saturday night in L.A. They're believing early in the season. It's franchise has been so snake bitten even with two of the great players for half a decade in Otani and Trout one and two of the pitch that's outside another good take by Tristan on a slider it's two and two yeah 44,000 plus yesterday for opening night it feels like a, a similar amount of people here today that probably won't announce as high but I'm impressed with the back-to-back -back turnout see what O'Neill is thinking about over at first two and two to Casas Here's the pitch, and it's outside, three and two, I think. Unless he's worried about a pickoff move from Detmers, the Tyler will be off in motion here. One down in the second read, Detmers, left-hander, led the Angels in strikeouts last year with 163. Very close to a no-hitter a season ago. Three, two is ripped, foul down the right field side, and O'Neill was not going. And the count stays full. Ninth best AL strikeout rate. Just about 26% a year ago for Detmers. And as we said at the top, he has really done a great job against the Red Sox. They throw to first, thinking with us as Tyler O'Neill is back to the bag standing. This is Casas' first look at Reed Detmers. No Boston hitter. In the lineup today, other than Story, who of course is now on the IL, has a hit against him. Three and two with O'Neill leading at first. The pitch. Swing and a mess. He got him with a big curveball. And Casas is gone. That is five strikeouts in six hitters for Reed Detmers. He's sharing a little information with Rafael on the way back to the dugout. Uh, Casas off to a promising start against lefties. You know, two hits in his first six at-bats plus a walk. But these are the kind of matchups that can give him a little trouble. Lefty-lefty breaking ball and a fastball count. And he goes chasing in the dirt. So here's Sedan with O'Neill even a bigger lead at first. Pitch he is a little bit outside. I around the cage that he would hit his first home run of 2024 tonight. So... I'm not saying it's going to be right here, right now. Detmers is locked in. 1-0 to Sedan. Here's the pitch. That's high with a fastball. 2-0. Had a great long talk with Louis Ortiz, the assistant hitting coach for the Red Sox, talking about the evolution of this hitter and trying to lay off first pitch, breaking balls that are out of the zone. He's worked a good count here. 2-0. 
pitch. Swinging a high fly, straight back, and out of play, two and one. But those are the hittable fastballs he earns the right to swing at when he gets up two and oh. That's a pitch he's going to drive eventually as he continues getting into hitters' counts. And I'll believe anything I see him do at the plate. I once had a home run in a record five consecutive games in AAA. I am a believer in his power. Natural juice for sure. Two and one, the pitch. Swing and another foul. The Red Sox just are not seeing it out of Detmer's hands. That's a 95 mile an hour fastball right there that Rafael is so late on. There's two and two. A helicopter circling over the right field video board here. Cars whizzing on by. And between here and the Honda Center, the home of the Anaheim Ducks. Two and two. Two down in the second. The pitch popped up. Foul side of first. That will get over the dugout. And out of play, the Arbella Insurance Foundation is dedicated to striking a cancer by supporting the Jimmy Fund for every strike got from a Sox pitcher. During this year, Arbella donates $50 to the Jimmy Fund. Here for the Jimmy Fund is Arbella, and here for good. Trevor Story, if you're just joining us, dislocated his left shoulder. That seemed pretty clear last night. Subluxation means that it did pop right back in. More testing on Monday back home. Two and two to Rafaela. Here's the pitch. That's right there on the outside corner. And Rafael knew it. Reed Detmers has struck out six Red Sox through two. We are scoreless. Whitlock back to the mound after this in the Shaws and Star Market, WEI Red Sox Network. Now you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile. So whether you're playing a game at home, yes, cool, or attending one live, no! you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile at cox.com slash internet. Other restrictions apply. It's Renewal by Anderson's 30-day spring sale, and there's no better way to freshen up your home than replacing your windows and patio doors. For a limited time, buy one replacement window or patio door. Get one 40% off, plus special financing available. Renewal by Anderson installs custom Fibrex windows that are energy efficient and are as beautiful to look at as they are to look through. Get started with a free no-obligation in-home consultation today. Visit RenewalByAndersonDeal.com. That's RenewalByAndersonDeal.com. Restrictions apply. Spring Fest starts now at Lowe's. Right now, get up to 35% off, plus save an extra $150 on every $1,500 you spend on select major appliances, like the GE Profile 2-in-1 Comp Washer and Dryer. Doors, you can wash and dry a full load of laundry all in one machine. Because Lowe's knows home improvement. Valid 4-1 through 5-1. Savings vary based on purchase amount. Selection varies by location. While supplies last, see Lowe's.com for details. Oh, oh. Is Moore's battery weak or dead after winter storage? Get your mower ready for spring lawn maintenance at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Right now, purchase any Superstart lawn and garden battery and get a $10 gift card after rebate. Choose Superstart batteries for power, performance, and reliability exclusively at your local O'Reilly Auto Parts. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. Sox, W E I. Garrett Whitlock back to work against old friend Aaron Hicks. Left handed batter against Whitlock. The first pitch to him is a strike right there on the outside corner of the cutter. And it's 0 and 1. Leaders who swing the drain. To by drains by James. 1 1 to Hicks. Inside he tried to cut her, did Whitlock. And missed and it's 1 and 1. Well, Tyler O'Neill is all over the place. In the American League, best batting, best on base, best slug. I guess that means he's probably the highest OPS as well. Simple math tells me. 1507 for Tyler O'Neill. It's just been a revelation for these Sox early in the year. Trains by James. They give a poop about your pipes. The 1 1 is fouled off of Hicks's front foot, who had a little bit of a renaissance with the Baltimore Orioles after being moved. Released by the Yankees. Still paying him good money to play for the L.A. Angels as Hicks walks it off. One and two, and Alex Cora just got that foul ball, handed it to a cameraman, pointed to a Red Sox fan. Jersey right in the front row. A lifetime memory for that young kid. One and two, Whitlock throws. That has to be a strike. Called a ball, a little bit low, and it's two and two. 
Sure look good from here. Yeah, I'll tell you, Alex Tosi apparently missed just one ball strike call last night. Phenomenal zone. And 2-2, hard and foul look out in the Red Sox dugout. Yeah, our friends at Umpire's Scorecards, oftentimes I bring those up when the, the numbers tell a story of a bad zone, but that was spectacular. Yeah, I wanted to even out the energy in the booth. 2-2, <laughs> two -two, a little bit low with a change up. That's a Pat Hoberg-like effort from Alex Tosi. Hoberg routinely has these games in which he misses one or two. Remarkable. Three and two pitch. That's a strike at the bottom of the zone, and Hicks is gone. And it was brilliant. A cut fastball from Garrett Whitlock, and he got his second strikeout. One down for Logan O'Hoppy. I love this location, and of course, big part of what the cutter does, right-handed pitcher in on the hands of a left-handed batter. And this is perfect placement. Hicks is fooled, but that's a great call right at the bottom of the zone. Here's a pitch that misses outside to Ohapi. Four ball one, eight strikeouts for Whitlock. Over five innings in his debut in Seattle. Just three hits and a run, 1-0. A little bit outside with a fastball at 94. That's the first time he had struck out that many hitters since May of 22 against these Angels. That was at Fenway, the 2-0. Here's a little bit low and inside for ball three. Garrett takes the red glove off, rubs it up in two bare hands. We're scoreless in the bottom of the second. 3-0. That's right, right there on the outside corner. And it's 3-1. and one. No homers in his last 20 innings pitched. Tremendous strikeout to walk numbers, as always. Here's the 3-1. Rip towards short one hop. Pablo has it go off his glove, and that'll be a hit for Ohapi. And you just have to wonder. Trevor Story's there. Are there two outs in the inning? An extra onus on Reyes. It's not an easy play by any measure, but based on what we've seen in the early going, I think that's one Trevor probably handles. Yeah, I'm pretty confident about that. It's kind of an in-between hop, but no, that cleanly gets into the webbing of Reyes' glove. I think he just mistimed the closing of that glove. They do score to hit as they should. Here's Luis Ranjifo. He can't stop his swing on a cut fastball. And it's 0-1. Well, Fleming and Tyler Murray in Anaheim. A lovely night for a ball game. The San Gabriel Mountains shimmering in the distance. Snow-capped on the peaks, the 0-1. A foul on the third base side. And it's nothing in two. Moniac out on deck. Pablo and, and Manuel Valdez shade toward the second base bag at double play deck. Torrey Hunter threw out the first bit before the game today. And a special assistant before this contest, the 0-2. Foul back to the screen. Yeah, quite a roster of special assistants they announced today. Kurt Suzuki, Eddie Guardado, but most excitingly, uh, Chris Carpenter, the Granite Stater, New Hampshire's own Chris Carpenter. <laughs> Who was such an awesome postseason pitcher. Carpenter, 0 oh, and 2. Here it is. Here's a shot into right field, but it hangs up for O'Neill. He's there to make the play. And two down, Carpenter. I mean, especially with the St. Louis Cardinals. Just spectacular in the playoffs. Vividly remember a day in which he outdueled Roy Halladay, the late great Roy Halladay, in a playoff game. And also did the same thing against the Milwaukee Brewers. And just a wonderful clutch big time pitcher. Here's Mickey Moniak. That's a little bit low. Ball one. Got a, ch a chance to talk to Carpenter a few times. He said he, he was always disappointed that both Cardinals Red Sox World Series, he was injured, so he never got the chance to pitch at uh, you know, the ballpark he grew up dreaming of going to, at least in the World Series. Uh, there was a big break for the Red Sox that he was hurt as Neto takes high and in. 2-0. and oh, He was just an absolute animal. I had a chat with Tyler O'Neill about Adam Wainwright before the game today said it's everything is advertised just a phenomenal teammate the 2-0 is down and in ball three and an annoyingly good golfer <laughs> i hear that about you a time or two <laughs> depends on the day making his new career on tv the 3-0 is a strike on the outside corner 
Carrot clipped the black with a cutter. And it's three and one. Nothing, nothing. Red Sox and the Angels here in the second. We owe you a station break. We'll get it when we can. Pitch. Swing at a chopper foul on cue. Ten seconds. Station ID on the Shaws and Star Market WEI Red Sox Network. From the WEI Studios, 93.7 WEI FM and HD1, Lawrence, Boston. Always live on the free Odyssey app. One on, two out. Scoreless in the second. The 3-2 as the runner goes is inside, and Whitlock has walked two today. Now the Angels have something brewing. Two on, two out. So there's Zach Neto. Well, of course, the mantra of Andrew Bailey and Craig Breslow, let's be aggressive, let's throw strikes. And it was going to be impossible to sustain you know, the first time through the rotation, only walk three guys. You still have a, a top two walk rate in MLB for the Red Sox, but you know, the fifth for Crawford yesterday and now today for Whitlock. Maybe a regression to the mean, you hope not. Two on, two out. Here's Neto, the nine-hole hitter. Big spot for Whitlock early, the pitch. Swing and a miss. That was the great sweeper. He wants against right-handers to throw that pitch that has the more horizontal movement against the lefties, the more traditional slider that goes up and down a little bit more. Oh, and one. Whitlock throws. Swing and a miss. Same pitch, same result. Very quickly, 0-2. Oh Sox in first place for now on the Subaru of New England scoreboard. The Yankees do lead the Blue Jays 9-5. Like Boston, they are 6-2. Orioles walked off by the Pittsburgh Pirates today. O'Neill Cruz had a game winner. So the O's, 5-3. Sox nudge ahead of them. 0-2. Oh 2 Two on, two out. Whitlock throws. That is just low and outside. Pretty good change up. The Subaru New England Love Spring event is here. Drive away in a brand new 24 Subaru. Find your authorized retailer at Subaru of New England.com. Scoreless in Anaheim. The one two is on the ground towards short. One hopper. Pablo has it. Throws the second just in time. Pretty good play there by Reyes to feed Valdez and end the inning. No score. After two, that happens a lot when it's Whitlock and Detmers to the third we go on the Shaws and Star Market WEI Red Sox Network. Now you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile. So whether you're playing a game at home yes, cool. or attending one live, no! you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile at cox.com slash internet. Other restrictions apply. It's Renewal by Anderson's 30-Day Spring Sale, and there's no better way to freshen up your home than replacing your windows and patio doors. For a limited time, buy one replacement window or patio door. Get one 40% off, plus special financing available. Renewal by Anderson installs custom Fibrex windows that are energy efficient and are as beautiful to look at as they are to look through. Get started with a free, no-obligation in-home consultation today. Visit RenewalByAndersonDeal.com. That's RenewalByAndersonDeal.com. Restrictions apply. Spring Fest starts now with Lowe's. Right now, get up to 35% off, plus save an extra $150 on every $1,500 you spend on select major appliances, like the GE Profile 2-in-1 Combo Washer and Dryer. In about two hours, you can wash and dry a full load of laundry, all in one machine. Because Lowe's knows home improvement. Valid 4-1 through 5-1. Savings vary based on purchase amount. Selection varies by location. While supplies last, see Lowe's.com for details. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Protect your vehicle's engine with Syntec and O'Reilly Auto Parts. Syntec Premium Full Synthetic Motor Oil is formulated for today's engines to dissipate heat and friction and reduce wear. Get five quarts of Syntec Full Synthetic and a MicroGuard Select filter for just $33.99. Limit supplies, see store for details. Get Syntec only at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto Parts. Connor Wong to face Reed Detmers, scoreless in the third and for the play-by-play. -play. Man for whom big league's now just a regular thing. Here's Tyler Murray. <laughs> Easy for you to say, thank you, Will. Yes, it is Connor Wong, and he leads off by lining a base hit in a left center field, rolling toward the gap. Ward cuts it off. Ooh. Wong wants two. Here's the throw to second base, not in time. 
Head first slide for Connor Wong. And in just his 13th at bat of the season, he makes the case for some more playing time. A leadoff double here in the third. I love it. I mean, that's the aggression the Red Sox see from guys like Duran and Story. But Wong can fly and outfield a little bit slow. Ward to get over to it. And Connor happy to take the extra 90 feet. And now N. Manuel Valdez out of the ninth spot in this Herb Chambers batting order. Brought to you by Herb Chambers' Genesis of Auburn. Infield in at the corners. Ooh. Valdez is swinging, and he misses a sweeper for strike one. And it's another double for diabetes and $50 to the American Diabetes Association. Brought to you by the Massachusetts Health Connector. If you need health insurance, go to mahealthconnector.org and find the right plan for you and your family. Valdez, four hits this year, mm. and he just gets a piece of that sweeper, nothing in two. But a lot of his swings have been impactful. He had the three-run home run earlier this week in Oakland. Eventually won that game. A sack fly to win the one nothing game in the finale. And another sacrifice fly here yesterday that, at the time, gave the Red Sox a, a late-ish lead. But it wasn't until the tie-breaking home run from Jaron Duran in the eighth that they took the lead for good. Nothing, nothing, top three. Lead-off double Connor Wong. He's at second. 0-2 to Valdez, very high with a fastball, 1-2. and two. Now, This is one of those spots you really want Manu to pay it off. The fact that Wong could get to second base on that. I mean, the left-handed hitter, easier said than done against a tough southpaw, though Detmers has these reverse splits. But you, at the very least in this spot, you really want to get Wong to third. Infield was in initially at the corners. Now back with two strikes on the 1-2 breaking ball. Roll to the right side. First baseman Sean O'Well will gather it in and beat Valdez to first. But just what Will Fleming wanted, they get Wong to third with one away. It's a really good at bat. I mean, that's what you want from a young player in that spot. He's early in count. He's taking shots. He can do damage, as you said. But that's a beauty. And now it's to Duran. And in spring training, they started the uh, bulletin boards in the clubhouse ranking players for who had the most quality at-bats. That's one on the ledger for Valdez. And here's Jaron Duran, Cypress High School, graduate just 20 minutes away, and a check swing foul tip on a curveball, nothing in one. As he told uh, Nissen's Jemai Webster after the game yesterday, he was getting chirped by his old roommates, saying, <laughs> we've come to see you here for years. You haven't got a hit yet in Anaheim. He was 0 for 11 with six strikeouts. He silenced those chirps with an RBI single and the game-winning home run yesterday. Infield comes in all the way around now. 0-1 to Duran, swing and a tapper foul. Quickly nothing in two. Red Sox allowed a season-high six runs last night, but still earned an 8-6 win. Finding different ways to win. Connor Wong is at third base, hoping to score the game's first run. Duran's in the hole, nothing in two. Pitch from Detmers. Line drive, left field, shallow. Ward coming on. That's down for a base hit. Wong held on to third, but he can jog in to score. Another base knock and another RBI for Jaron Duran. And the Red Sox strike first here in the third. It's 1-0. Detmers... That might have been a mistake pitch. He was ahead, nothing into this slider hung up middle, middle, and Duran knew what to do. And they got way too much of the plate visit to the mound for Detmers after that one. And uh, he's just instant offense lately, Duran is. Just ever evolving part of his process. Alex Gorris said to me that he's so proud of how open Jaron's been with his life, his experiences, and all the changes he's made. And, Talking to him before the game today about the, the hair change and all his buddies who are around. He, he just he feels so much more centered. And truly, in the modern game, with the rules the way that they are, I mean, there's no reason to think Jaron Duran, as he was last year for a couple months, can't be one of the most impactful players in the whole game. And he just feels lighter on his feet in more ways than one. Almost a, a literal weight is off his shoulders. and. Well, now you can't imagine this lineup without Jaron Duran. He'll lead off of first base. Of course, he leads the majors with six steals and six attempts. And there mm. he goes, but he's picked off. Throw to first, Sean Well, Tossed to second in plenty of time. So Duran is caught stealing for the first time this year. And there are two away in the third. Well, he just went on first move, guessing there. Denver's had really not thrown over yet in the game. And 
Love the idea, but Detmer's guessed right. And not a bad pickoff move from the southpaw. And Reyes all by himself. Base is empty, two down, one nothing. Red Sox in the third. And the curveball misses low. Reyes made a nice play to strand a pair. Tough hop at shortstop. He went the short way to second base. And after the Ohapi single and Moniak walk, the Angels could not score on Garrett Whitlock. 1-0. Fastball up high to Reyes. He struck out swinging on a fastball his first time. In fact, the first six outs of the ball game recorded by Reed Detmers were on K's. But here in the third, it's been a ground out and a caught stealing. 2-0, foul straight back. Red Sox hoping to get their seventh win through nine games for just the third time since 1961. Most recently, you probably guessed it, 2018. They started 8-1 and one on their way to another championship. The expectations for that particular team were quite a bit higher than this one. 2-1. Reyes lays off a high heater. He was 0 for 2 with a walk yesterday coming in for the injured Trevor Story. So 3 for 14 with a ribby this year. As a hitter's count against Detmers, not a lot of those to find today for the Red Sox. But he fans on a fastball, so it's 3 and 2. So the first couple of heaters from Detmers were coming in 95, 96. Right now he's sitting 94, but that's plenty to get it past Reyes on that particular swing. Detmer stretches the glove high over his head, comes into the windup, and Ooh. pounds the inside corner, a call third strike. Not a strike. Reyes was taken to walk down to first, but he'll take a hard turn to the dugout instead. But an RBI single for Jaron Duran in the top of the third, and after two and a half, it's Red Sox 1, Angels nothing. On the Shaws and Star Market, WEEI Red Sox Network. Save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile and get fiber-powered internet at home and unbeatable 5G reliability on the go. So whether you're playing a game at home, yes, cool, or attending one live, no! you can do more without spending more. Learn how to save at cox.com slash internet. Cox Internet is connected to the premises via coaxial connection. Cox Mobile runs on the network with unbeatable 5G reliability as measured by Ookla LLC in the U.S. 1H 2023. Results may vary. Not an endorsement. Other restrictions apply. Spring Fest starts now at Lowe's. Right now, get up to 35% off. Plus save an extra $150 on every $1,500 you spend on select major appliances. Like the GE Profile 2-in-1 Combo Washer and Dryer. In about two hours, you can wash and dry a full load of laundry all in one machine. Because Lowe's knows home improvement. Valid 4-1 through 5-1. Savings vary based on purchase amount. Selection varies by location. While supplies last, see Lowe's.com for details. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Protect your vehicle's engine with Syntec and O'Reilly Auto Parts. Syntec Premium Full Synthetic Motor Oil is formulated for today's engines to dissipate heat and friction and reduce wear. Get five quarts of Syntec Full Synthetic and a MicroGuard Select filter for just $33.99. Limit supplies, see store for details. Get Syntec only at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. At Enterprise, we know you're constantly on the move. Getting this. Thanks, Mom. Fixing that. You reach a destination. And then it's on to the next. And when life is moving at the speed of, well, life, Enterprise is right there with you, around the corner and around the globe. We'll keep you moving forward. Enterprise, for lives in drive. This is the home of the Sox, W-E-E-I. First pitch of the bottom of the third from Garrett Whitlock is in for a strike to Anthony Rendon. It's the top of the Herb Chambers batting order for the, the Angels. Red Sox one, Angels nothing. Next pitch is a sweeper that misses outside. Righty on righty, Rendon on Whitlock. First pitch from Whitlock was served into right field for a base knock by Rendon, so he's two for 24 this year. 1-1 one, one pitch. That's planted on the outside corner. Blue Jays trying to make it interesting in the Bronx. It's 9-6 Yankees, but second and third with only one out against Clay Holmes. And Noah Vlad Jr. hit a home run today. 
One, two pitches rolled foul. And those two teams, we talked about it yesterday, really struggling to score, but they've combined for 15 runs in the Bronx today. Red Sox had the offense cooking last night, 8-6 to six win. 1-2 sweeper is fought off, and we saw an 11-pitch at-bat worked by Anthony Rendon featuring six straight foul balls yesterday. Got to love the blogosphere. You Alex Verdugo was 0-3 for 3 again today. Yeah. Aaron Boone limiting the number of chains he can wear. 1-2 pitch is low. So three weeks ago in spring training, I said that I'd heard that there were some rumblings that Verdugo... A little bit tardy at times, as we grew very accustomed to. New York went crazy. 2-2 from Whitlock, fouled off. This one blogger wrote a story that is in all these aggravated links that I'm saying things that are not true about Verdugo trying to make the Red Sox look good. Well, the same dude today is talking about how he's starting to hear that Verdugo is rubbing some people the wrong way. Oh, no. Sweeper is low and away, 3-2. and two. Journalistic integrity, Tyler. No, they, they teach better than that at Stanford, I understand. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> well, I mean, just all part of the package well, with Verdugo. Well, when you, when you reach your level of journalistic status, you're going to get aggregated here. 3-2 <laughs> is fouled off, and the count stays full. Like my mother is sending me, you got to be careful what you say. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I am. <laughs> So one chain for Verdugo, that's the story? Only one. Okay. Payoff to Rendon. Takes a pitch, and it's a oh. call third strike. Bottom of the zone, a sinker at 94. Perfect pitch from Garrett Whitlock. That is his third K tonight, and a good start to the bottom of the third. Uh, Dan Bellino's not the optimal umpire to have in early in your sort of major league time. He, he takes forever, and then he does the old start the lawnmower in front of his chest move. I can hear him grunting. <laughs> Sean Owell takes a change up low. I always liked uh, Jerry Lane. Strike one, strike two. He just flopped the left arm out. Jerry in the slow lane. <laughs> <laughs> one oh pitch, a uh, cutter right in there for a call strike. Sean Owell rolled one over to the first baseman his first time up. 1-1 one, one from Whitlock, and the left-handed first baseman takes a cutter high. That's a tough break there for Whitlock. Good-looking pitch, but it's 2-1. and one. Two, one. Change up low, three balls and a strike. We had talked yesterday about Sean Owell chasing history and the third longest on-base streak to start a career at 36 games. It is over now. 3-1 pitches fouled off. They went back a week ago and changed the hit to an error, so uh, the chase for history ends uh, today. Did you see the play? I did. They showed it to me before the game today. Awful overturn. I mean, it's like a little chopper. The first baseman backhands it, flips to a covering pitcher low. Ridiculous to overturn it, I thought. Certainly a week later, you would have to think it's an egregious play to overturn, but no. Base is empty, one down, the payoff pitch. Lined hard, oh. caught by a diving Casas. What a play at first base by the big fella. Two down to the bottom of the third. <laughs> and he smiles and points into the Red Sox first base dugout. <laughs> he put so much work in this offseason into that very thing. More balanced approach, first step. That was awesome for the big man. 95 off the bat for Sean Owell, who continues to be snake bit this year. He's only got three hits. In a week, they'll change that to a hit. <laughs> Here's Trout, who takes a sweeper for a strike. Red Sox one, Angels nothing. Bottom of the third here in Anaheim. Looking for number six in a row as this pitch is sliced foul to the first base seats. This week began with the Cubs, Dodgers, Red Sox, and Angels all having won four straight. Dodgers and Cubs split the first two games of their series. And of course, the Red Sox won last night, so they are the hottest team in the league. 0-2 pitch, blow them away. 94 at the sinker, and on three pitches, Garrett Whitlock strikes out Mike Trout. It's his first 1-2-3 inning, and he's got strikeouts number three and number four. We go to the fourth. Red Sox one, Angels nothing. On the Shaws and Star Market, WEEI, Red Sox Network. 
Now you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile. So whether you're playing a game at home, yes, cool, or attending one live, no! you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile at cox.com slash internet. Other restrictions apply. Spring Fest starts now at Lowe's. Right now, get up to 35% off, plus save an extra $150 on every $1,500 you spend on select major appliances, like the GE Profile 2-in-1 Combo Washer and Dryer. In about two hours, you can wash and dry a full load of laundry all in one machine. Because Lowe's knows home improvement. Valid 4-1 through 5-1. Savings vary based on purchase amount. Selection varies by location. While supplies last, see Lowe's.com for details. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Is your Moore's battery weak or dead after winter storage? Get your mower ready for spring lawn maintenance at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Right now, purchase any Superstart lawn and garden battery and get a $10 gift card after rebate. Choose Superstart batteries for power, performance, and reliability exclusively at your local O'Reilly Auto Parts. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. Red Sox won, Angels nothing. We're on to the fourth in Anaheim. The Big A, Angels Stadium, Devers and Detmers. First pitch, lefty-lefty as a slider swung on and missed by Raffi. Whether you're off to the ballpark, dog park, or amusement park, Sitco, top-tier tri-clean gasoline gets you going where you're going. Whether you're traveling near or far, when you start with Sitco, you're good to go. 0-1 pitch, Devers ropes one to right center. That'll drop in for a base hit. Cut off by Trout in the gap. Rafi Devers, just 3 for 21 since missing two games with that sore shoulder. Good to see him swinging it for a leadoff single. And even better to see him in there today. I was really worried about what might happen overnight after taking that pitch on the hand. That was That's the great Devers right there. Balanced feet stay in there. He broke his bat, by the way, in two huge pieces and still ripped it into the outfield. All right, it'll bring up Tyler O'Neill. First pitch is sharply grounded foul. Tells me he does yoga in the hotel every day. Tyler does. He's uh, really adapted his pregame routine. He said, I, I can no longer just walk into the weight room cold and squat four plates. I, I totally relate. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Endeavor is at first, held on by Sean Owell, 0 1. O'Neill takes low. I mean, his teammates have to be asking him for workout tips. <laughs> It's crazy. The dude has muscles in places I, I, I really didn't know existed. Like the vein on his biceps is the size of my neck. And you're exaggerating, but only a little bit. He hit two home runs here yesterday, and the one once fouled straight back. Worked a walk on seven pitches against Detmers to start the second, and that was after Detmers struck out the side in order on 13 pitches in the opening inning. And ever since then, the better and better at bats for the Red Sox. They lead 1 0 in the top of the fourth. One on, nobody out in the 1 2. Breaking ball rolled foul toward the third base dugout. Right now it's Betts and O'Neill atop the MLB leaderboards in home runs and OPS. Oh, yeah, Mookie. Or as I like to call him, the guy that indirectly brought Greg Weissert to the Red Sox bullpen. <laughs> That's one way to lo look at it. O'Neill pops one high and foul back our way, still one and two. This is such a treat to watch. He's just seems like timeless. I mean, he keeps getting better and better, does Mookie. And sometimes it can be a little difficult to watch him in a Dodger uniform. A little. O'Neill battling here again against Detmers. His 59th pitch is a breaking ball that misses Ooh. the inside corner. Good break there for O'Neill. That was close. I mean, he's very pleased with Dan Bellinos. Did not call that a strike, but that easily could have been. Yeah, Detmers, he's finding that lower inside corner against righties today. 2-2 pitch, high slider. Noah catches the top of the zone, strike three. So one call goes O'Neill's way. The second does not. He is the eighth strikeout victim through three and a third. I mean, I'm not a mathematician, but that's 10 outs and eight of them 
via the strikeout. I believe that's 80%. Maybe you are a mathematician. That is correct. Bobby Dahlbeck was one of those eight strikeout victims. Went down looking at a change his first time. One on, one out. And he whiffs on a curveball for strike one. That would have been a called strike anyway. You love to see Bobby just run into one dire need of something good. Hitless in seven at-bats this year with six strikeouts now. one nothing Red Sox in the fourth. And Dahlbeck goes after a changeup, and he's way out in front. Nothing in two. Both of those pitches were in the zone, but fooled by the spin. Detmer's looking for strikeout number nine already. 0-2 pitch. Fastball off the outside corner. Ball one. Dahlbeck hitting fifth tonight in the Herb Chambers batting order. Brought to you by Herb Chambers Ford of Braintree and Ford of Westboro. Devers at first after a leadoff single. The 1-2 pitch. Dahlbeck bounces one softly to the shortstop. Neto has a tough play. Only option is to first. He'll throw out Dahlbeck there, who hustled down the line, but he's 0 for 2. He does get Devers to second base with two down for Tristan Casas. Casas coming off a diving snag to Rob Shawnowell in the bottom of the third. He hung in there against Detmers his first time up, but eventually struck out in a 3-2 curveball in the dirt. And like you said earlier, that curve from Detmers, opponents hit below 200 against it last year. First pitch is a curveball, and it's chopped foul into the Red Sox dugout, sending Connor Wong ducking for cover. Red Sox one, Angels nothing. They've got three of the game's five hits. Garrett Whitlock has scattered a couple of singles so far. Dealt with two base runners in each of the first two innings, but then had a 1-2-3 third. Oh, one to Casas. Big rip and a tip into the mitt. Fastball at 95, and it's nothing in two. Casas homered on a Griffin Canning fastball last night. He's only seeing fastballs 36% of the time this year after that was about half of the pitches he saw a season ago. No surprise everyone trying to adjust to his great second half last year. 0-2 pitch. Casas strikes out swinging. Backup slider in on the hands. He couldn't get it. And it's nine strikeouts in four innings for Reed Detmers. Jared Duran's RBI single is the difference so far. 1-0 Red Sox after three and a half in Anaheim. On the Shaw's and Star Market, WEEI Red Sox Network. Save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile and get fiber-powered internet at home and unbeatable 5G reliability on the go. So whether you're playing a game at home yes, cool. or attending one live, no! you can do more without spending more. Learn how to save at cox.com slash internet. Cox Internet is connected to the premises via coaxial connection. Cox Mobile runs on the network with unbeatable 5G reliability as measured by Ookla LLC in the U.S. 1H 2023. Results may vary. Not an endorsement. Other restrictions apply. Spring Fest starts now at Lowe's. Right now, get up to 35% off, plus save an extra $150 on every $1,500 you spend on select major appliances, like the GE Profile 2-in-1 Combo Washer and Dryer. In about two hours, you can wash and dry a full load of laundry, all in one machine. Because Lowe's knows home improvement. Valid 4-1 through 5-1. Savings vary based on purchase amount. Selection varies by location. While supplies last, see Lowe's.com for details. Check engine light on? Take the guesswork out of your check engine light with O'Reilly Veriscan. It's free. Ask for O'Reilly Veriscan today. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto Parts. At Enterprise, we know you're constantly on the move. Getting this. Thanks, Mom. Fixing that. You reach a destination. And then it's on to the next. And when life is moving at the speed of, well, life, Enterprise is right there with you, around the corner and around the globe. We'll keep you moving forward. Enterprise, for lives in drive. Hey, it's Cutter Crawford. This is the home of the Sox, W-E-E-I. Garrett Whitlock spins a breaking ball outside to Taylor Ward to begin the bottom of the fourth. 
The Red Sox have a 1-0 lead on the Angels here in Anaheim. 1-0 pitch. A high breaking ball. It came up near his helmet, so Ward ducks out of the way of the sweeper. It's 2-0. There was a, a congregation of fans on the field during batting practice today. There always is these days, as the 2-0 is a fastball outside. Yeah, and they knew you were here. Uh, sure, yep. Uh, <laughs> rolled out the red carpet yesterday. And everyone was surrounding an older gentleman. The 3-0 from Whitlock is in there for a strike. Good sinker. And we're trying to figure out which California-based baseball legend it was. Turns out it's a New England-based hockey legend. Willie O'Ree is here today. 3-1 pitches rolled to third, but foul. Yes, that Willie O'Ree who broke the color barrier with the Boston Bruins. 88 years young and probably the last celebrity I expected to see at Angel Stadium today, but, man, were we happy to see him. It's hard to put those pieces together before the game. <laughs> yes. Payoff from Whitlock. Very high ball four, so a leadoff walk in a one-run ball game here in the fourth inning, and that is three free passes from the right-hander. Aaron Hicks is introduced. He went down looking on a cutter his first time. Another pitcher's duel between Reed Detmers and Garrett Whitlock, who had a phenomenal first start of the season Sunday in Seattle. Gave up just one run in five innings and three hits, which all came in the second inning. Didn't walk anybody that outing. Here today he's walked three as Hicks fouls this one off to our left. Nothing in one. Whitlock actually walked just 13 batters all of last season, a career-best 4.3 walk rate. So this is an aberration. 0-1, swing and a pop-up. Foul territory, first base side. It's Wong or Casas. Tristan makes the catch right in front of his dugout. One away as 6 is 0 for 2. So Logan O'Hoppy now. He singled his first time and moved up to second on a Mickey Moniak walk, but a nice play by Pablo Reyes stranded him there. Ohapi second in the American League in OPS behind only Boston's Tyler O'Neill. Something tells me the season will not end that way. <laughs> they love this guy here, though, as he takes a breaking ball strike. I'd, I'd, like, I'd probably take Judge over Ohapi. Maybe. I mean... They're both getting bobbleheads this year. Ohapis is coming on it April 30th. One on, one out. one nothing Red Sox in the fourth, and the 0-1 pitch is very high. And I wonder if that's a record for fewest major league at-bats. He's got about 200, and he's still getting a bobblehead, Logan Ohapi. Casas holds the runner at first, and the 1-1 is driven in the air to deep right center field, sending Rafaela back to the wall. At the track, it's O'Neill to cut over, and he makes the catch. Two steps from the fence. Oh, Hoppy just missed it, and there are two away. That one left the bat at 100 miles an hour and carried about 360 feet. But you have to go 365 out to right field here in Anaheim. So Hoppy's one for two. And now Luis Renjifo. He lined out to right field his first time. Three for 11 to start the season. Two on, or rather two out with one on as Renjifo takes a strike. Uh, cutter, nothing in one. And Whitlock now up to 73 pitches. He's thrown 45 strikes. Red Sox have a one nothing lead in the bottom of the fourth. 0-1 pitch is looped into shallow center. Rafaela moving in. Can't get there. Plays it on a hop. Throw to second behind Ward. Uh, we'll just actually put it in their pocket as Ward stops there. And Renjifo is aboard with a base knock. So, for the third time in four innings, the Angels have two base runners on Garrett Whitlock, but, of course, they're still yet to score. Mickey Moniak will look to change that. He worked to walk his first time up. Oh for 4 last night with two strikeouts. Renjifo on first with the single. Ward off of second. He walked. And the first pitch to Moniak is dribbled foul. 
Still just the RBI single from Jaron Duran, the only scoring we've seen today, and at least so far, a much different field to yesterday, which saw the Red Sox hit three home runs in the second to take an early 4-0 lead. Uh, that evaporated eventually. The game was tied at 5 and at 6. 0-1 is chopped foul again. It's nothing and 2. Duran had the game-winning hit in the eighth, a home run to center. And then Tyler O'Neill hit his second bomb of the game, a laser beam over the left field wall. It's the eight-foot high fence here, about all the way around at Angel Stadium with that green padding. 0-2 pitch from Whitlock, and Moniak just gets a piece. Fourth oldest ballpark in the majors, behind Dodger Stadium, Wrigley Field, and Fenway Park. And the most prominent feature is that rock waterfall in left center field designed by the uh, Disney Imagineers. 0-2 pitch is low. It was part of the uh, renovations here in the late 90s. And as Will told you, this fan base has done a really nice job coming out for opening weekend. 44,000 plus here for opening night yesterday and a very similar turnout today. 1-2 pitch, another foul tip from Moniak as he's hanging in there in search of his first hit of the season. Former first overall pick, Mickey Moniak, batting with two on and two out. It's one nothing Red Sox, bottom of the fourth. As Whitlock is laboring a bit, he's about to throw his 80th pitch. Moniak coming off a breakout season. Maybe a change of scenery served him well after he was traded from the Phillies to the Angels as part of the Noah Syndergaard deal two years ago. 13 of his 14 homers came off of righties last year. The 1-2 pitch is a high cutter. Two balls and two strikes. Moniak batting eighth in the Herb Chambers batting order for the Angels. Zach Neto hoping for a chance waiting on deck. Here's the 2-2 from Whitlock. Moniak gets a piece, rolls it foul. And this long battle continues. It'll be at least an eight-pitch at-bat. Nobody throwing in the Red Sox bullpen. Of course, Whitlock just one strike away from stranding another pair of runners. Another 2-2. Another foul ball. Moniak goes down to get a piece of this one. It was a 1-2-3 third for Whitlock. He struck out Rendon and Trout. So handled the top of the order with ease, but a leadoff walk to Tyler Ward here in the fourth. Definitely led to some trouble. See if he can get out of it. Pitch number nine to Mickey Moniak. Fouled off again. It'll be a 10-pitch A-B. As Moniak doing everything he can to get his first hit of the season. Going to make it awfully tough for Whitlock to make it through five. As he readies for his 84th pitch, new baseball cycled in here. Third baseman Rafi Devers came in toward the grass, but now he backs up. Pretty exaggerated shift over to the right side of the infield for Moniak. Another 2-2, grounded to the right side. Diving stop by Valdez at second base. Gets to his feet and throws him out. And a fist pump for Valdez in shallow right. And he deserves it. That's a run-saving play to retire the side in the fourth and keep the Red Sox in front 1-0 in Anaheim. We'll go to the fifth on the Shaws and Star Market WEEI Red Sox Network. Now you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile. So whether you're playing a game at home, yes, cool, or attending one live, no! you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile at cox.com slash internet. Other restrictions apply. Spring Fest starts now at Lowe's. Right now, get up to 35% off, plus save an extra $150 on every $1,500 you spend on select major appliances, like the GE Profile 2-in-1 Combo Washer and Dryer. In about two hours, you can wash and dry a full load of laundry all in one machine. Because Lowe's knows home improvement. Valid 4-1 through 5-1. Savings vary based on purchase amount. Selection varies by location. While supplies last, see Lowe's.com for details. At Enterprise, we know you're constantly on the move. Getting this. Thanks, Mom. Fixing that. You reach a destination. And then it's on to the next. 
And when life is moving at the speed of, well, life, Enterprise is right there with you, around the corner and around the globe. We'll keep you moving forward. Enterprise, for lives in drive. The Namco Pool Splash It to Spring sales event is here. Transform your backyard into a budget-friendly oasis with a remarkable selection of above-ground pools, hot tubs, and patio furniture. Take advantage of pools up to 20% off, jacuzzis up to $1,000 off, and patios up to 56% off. Get in now for the Namco Pool Splash It to Spring sale going on now through the 22nd. Namco Pool, the most trusted pool company for your community. Namcopool.com. It's Alex Cora. This is the home of the Sox. W-E-E-I. Sit on Rafael to lead it off for the Red Sox. At the top of the fifth against Reed Detmers. They lead one nothing. to the Sox. Detmers into the wind. He throws. And Sedan takes a breaking ball. The big curve for strike one. We Rafaela. And then Wong and Valdez in the Herb Chambers batting order. Brought to you by Herb Chambers pre-owned cars and trucks. The 1 Swing and a miss. Change up. And Sedan guessing heat. Way out in front. And it's 0-2. For every four bagger the Red Sox hit this season, Red Sox Radio Network donates $40 to Cars for Kids. We're making our donation you should, too. 877-CARS-FOR-KIDS or go to carsforkids.com. 0-2 oh, to Sedan. Struck out his first time, and he lines one straight back and foul. Look out. That was into the Nesson television booth. Three over to our right. Mark Gubiza trying to investigate, see whether Kevin Euclid or Dave O'Brien made a play. 0-2. Oh, That's low. Change up again. And it's one and two. Well, so far, Garrett Whitlock has put himself into some jams, but skated through. One and two to Rafaela. Detmers throws. Sedan swings and misses. He is gone. Another really good changeup. This is outrageous for Detmers. Ten strikeouts in four and a third. Perfect. Plays pitch, and now here's Connor Wong, who ignited the Red Sox, and the game's only run. A hustle double began things in the third. He was moved to third by a ground out from Valdez, who's on deck and scored on a Duran base hit. Now Connor, for the second time, takes outside ball one. The Red Sox have gotten a lot of production from their catchers so far this season. One thing that Louis Ortiz, the Red Sox assisting Hitting coach told me today, really stood out about Reese McGuire. One of the Wong. That's a check swing. Good take. Fastball high and away. And he, he said, look, Reese in the offseason stopped thinking of himself as a backup. Like a, a leading man. And he certainly hit like one in the early going. Hit a big time two run homer last night. 2 0 to Wong. He's looking to rip here. The pitch he is high. Very good patience there from Connor. And it's 3 0. Wong was spectacular in spring training, but Alex Cora, I mean, he's just got the pulse of this team, and he's ridden Reese McGuire early. 3-0 to Connor. Here's the pitch. That is a borderline strike. Should not have been, but called one as 3-1. and one. As great as Alex Tosi was last night, Dan Bellino has left some things to be desired so far this evening. 3-1 to Connor. Play him ever so slightly to pull on the infield to pitch. Swing and a miss. Now he chased that one. That was definitely up and out of the zone. And you can understand that for a hitter when top of the zone expands a little bit. Overzealous there, and it's three and two. Connor digs back in after calling time. Three and two with one down. Here's the pitch. Swinging a high fly into left field. Back on it goes Ward in front of the warning track. Plenty of room. He's there to make the play. Connor should have walked. Instead, he flies to left. And they're two down. That's a frustrating plate appearance for Wong. He just missed that changeup that I think probably would have been called a strike. But hey, you look at the catching situation for the Red Sox. Maybe neither guy is a superstar, but I think it's a situation that a lot of teams are envious of. you got a good righty, a good lefty. They can both do everything you need. Here's Edmanuel Valdez, who's due for a big fly. The pitch. This is inside ball one. He's got so much juice, does Valdez. 
Trevor's story on the IL. Ten days from now. Get more tests done in Boston on Monday. The 1-0 is up and in to Manu. And that's ball two. The key issue in all the imaging and testing that Trevor will undergo back home is whether or not there's damage to the labrum. That's the real game changer. 2-0. That's a beautiful curveball that Valdez takes for a strike. It's 2-1. If torn, almost always requires surgery, and that extends the recovery time. But if not, it could be a month, maybe even less. The 2-1 almost hit him with a curveball. And it's 3-1. The, the, the ripple effect of the injury to Trevor's story it cannot be overstated. Just soothing defensive presence, tireless worker. 3-1 and one with two down the pitch. Swinging a high fly into center field, but Valdez just, just missed that one. Trout in front of the track is there to make the play. And the inning is over. Three up, three down. Detmers is cruising, but the Red Sox lead. Whitlock looking for a cleaner bottom of the fifth when we come back. one nothing Boston on the Shaw's and Star Market, WEI Red Sox Network. Now you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile. So whether you're playing a game at home, yes, cool, or attending one live, no! you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile at cox.com slash internet. Other restrictions apply. Spring Fest starts now with new savings at Lowe's. Right now, get up to 35% off, plus save an extra $150 on every $1,500 you spend on select major appliances. Discover the new GE Appliances range with removable Easy Wash Oven Tray for easy cleaning in your dishwasher. Because Lowe's knows home improvement. Valid 4-1 through 5-1. Savings vary based on purchase amount. Selection varies by location. While supplies last, see Lowe's.com for details. The world needs ways to reduce carbon emissions. We're working on solutions in our own operations. Like carbon capture. And clean energy from hydrogen. So, who are we? Believe it or not, ExxonMobil. And our solutions could help industries like manufacturing, commercial transportation, and power generation too. Heavy industry with low emissions. Let's deliver. Learn more at ExxonMobil.com. Set yourself up for success sooner than later. After graduation, when I got my first official full-time job, I realized punctuality is imperative. It wasn't until I was a parent when I realized being reliable is critical. I'm pretty sure it wasn't until I retired when I realized how essential it is to be health conscious. Steve Lewis and Company. Invest with confidence. Helping you plan a brighter future. One thing. Hi, this is Tristan Casas. You're listening to the home of the Red Sox, W-E-E-I. Into the bottom of the fifth we go. Garrett Whitlock having thrown 84 pitches. We'll see Zach Neto, then Rendon, Sean Well, and if anyone reaches Mike Trout, which is probably the reason. Greg Weissert is now up in the bullpen. The pitch is low. Good sinker. He's not thrown a lot of those tonight, Whitlock. It's been a lot of change-ups and cutters. Sliders and sweepers, 1-0, the pitch. That's fouled off the end of the bat. And it's 1-1. One one. Talk about confidence in Weissert. Literally, Alex Cora has him up in an inning where Mike Trout may come to bat. This is going to be a difficult challenge for the Red Sox because Kenley and Chris have been worked a lot this week. 1-1. One, one. On the ground toward the left side, in the left field, that's a base hit. So the nine-hole hitter really creates more trouble. Lead-off hit against Whitlock, and even though he's managed the higher wire act tonight, in difficulty again, lead-off man aboard for Rendon. So you don't really know whether Kenley and Martin will be available. You sort of start to piece it back together with... Winkowski working heavily last night. He figures Slayton's going to be a big part of tonight. Here is Rendon. He fouls the first pitch off. On the first base side, I mean, Chase Anderson is not thrown in a while. You figure he probably, if you assume that maybe Weissert comes into this inning to get out of this frame for Whitlock, then maybe it's Anderson after that. one nothing Red Sox in the fifth, the pitch. That's low. Joely Rodriguez, of course, quite available out of the bullpen after being worked so heavily 
Three outings in the Seattle series. Rendon is one for two tonight. But it is not a simple puzzle for Alex Cora to figure out of the bullpen. And what looks like another short start. The 1-1. One, one, that's a strike on the outside corner. Good sweeper, 1-2. and two. And you'd like to think Weissert can give you a little bit because he only threw two pitches yesterday. He got to Trout to fly out to strand him loaded. It's been so very good. 1-2. and two. Not exactly double play depth behind Whitlock. They're way back and over as he throws the first. The, the game is so different now with the New rules banning the shift. Uh, Valdez and Pablo are just not really all that close to the second base back. Reyes is way over into the hole for Rendon. 1-2 is a little low. Sweeper that was a ball, and it's 2-2. Two and two. This is sort of continuing the pattern for Red Sox pitchers. So much spin. Two balls, two strikes. Went like holds. He throws, and a high fly foul down the right field line and out of play. Both Spencer Strider and Shane Bieber's significant damage to their elbows. And likely both will need surgery. It's just a rampant issue in the game today. 2-2, Two -two, runner goes. Pitch is swung on and chopped to third, and it is a foul ball. Now the, the base runner Neto was easily going to be in there at second, whether the ball was fielded fair or not. And it is outside the line. It stays two and two. And I do think there's going to need to be some real soul searching in the sport about the way that pitchers operate today, the amount of velocity, max effort, spin, and in particular the way they manage an off season, which is so different. Two and two to Anthony Rendon, the pitch. Runner not going, is ripped into right center field. Over and to his left is Rafaela, and gliding he's there to make the play. Hard contact for Rendon, but he's gone. And go back to first and one down. And Alex Gore was asked about it before the game, and I, I was thinking all day today with the news about Bieber and Strider that it just cannot be good for pitchers, and it's not a coincidence that so many are hurt when all of these guys these days work so hard in the offseason to tweak, to max out every ounce of physical ability. They are creating new pitches. They're throwing 97 miles an hour in offseason workouts, and the, the body's just not equipped to handle that. You're coming back to spring training with more velocity, but at what cost? And the example Alex Cora brought up is how live batting practice used to be. He told us, yeah, guys would throw 88, 89, just work on location, work on sequencing. But now it's all out, all the time, max effort no matter what. And that's just one theory about why we could be seeing so many injuries. So one on, one out. Trout is on deck. This is very likely Whitlock's last hitter. And Sean well. Double played up behind him. Garrett throws. And he misses outside with a fastball. The fourth inning, by the way, was brought to you by Cars for Kids. Donate your car and help a child today schedule your free pickup at 877-CARS-FOR-KIDS or carsforkids.com. And that is, as you know, cars with a K. Garrett would love a K. Here, runner goes. The pitch is high. Throw from Wong is in there, and he is out at second again. I'm sure that Ron Washington wants to look. It was bang, bang, Wong against another great jump fired a bullet to second and they will look this time the angels and watching the replay for the first time he's going to be safe the, the hand just hit the bag ahead of pablo reyes's tag so yeah, i think this one's likely to be overturned but in terms of great throws and great pop times connor wong is two for two the jump was phenomenal for Neto. I can't believe it was even close enough for Tony Randazzo to get the call wrong. He's definitely safe. This should not take long. Uh, Washington is clapping, seeing the replay on the big video board. So the tying runs in scoring position. Here we go. The field is overturned. The runner is safe. Los Angeles will retain its challenge. Well, it was easy to see, but as Tyler said, really does not diminish the effort by Wong to even make that a close play. By the way, today through Thursday at Shaw's and Star Market, the value pack 80% lean fresh ground beef or 93% lean Shady Brook Farms 
ground turkey. 277 a pound. We use the digital coupon limit too. Here is a big pitch to Shanwell, and it is a strike on the outside corner. Two and one. Mike Trout is on deck. Weissert is warming in the bullpen. Almost certain to see Trout is Weissert. Two and one. The big tall righty Whitlock throws. Backdoor sweeper for a strike, and it's two and two. It's pretty amazing that in week two with the Red Sox, Greg Weissert is the guy that seems to be the weapon to get Mike Trout. Two and two. One out in the fifth. Red Sox lead by a run. Here's the pitch. Low. In the slider. And Whitlock, again, this has not thrown many sinkers tonight. He's now, for the ball game, thrown 99 pitches. And only 21 of them that one seam sinking fastball. Three and two. Here it is. Swing and a foul that pops out of the glove of Connor Wong. He just could not quite hang on. That was a slider, and even from here, after 100 in pitches, you can understand that the stuff is not quite as electric for Whitlock. He got away with one right there. In just enough. Three and two. There it is. That's low. Ball four. He's going to be done as Whitlock. And now, the Angels will have the tying run at second, the go-ahead run at first. One down, Mike Trout coming on. And he'll face Greg Weissert, who's coming out of the Red Sox bullpen in just a moment. On the Subaru of New England scoreboard, the uh, Yankees got a little scare late as the Blue Jays had major traffic in that game in the Bronx. But New York hangs on, and they beat the Yanks. They beat the Blue Jays, I should say. 9-8, to eight, the final score. Weaver over Gossman. Clay Holmes got his fourth save. And so the Yankees now 7-2. and two. The Red Sox will need a win here tonight to keep pace. The Rangers, a hot start defending their crown. They beat the Astros 7-2 to there. Six up and two down are the Rangers to begin their year. The Orioles, as we told you earlier, fell in Pittsburgh by the final score of 5 to four. Subaru of New England loves spring event is here. Drive away in a brand new 2024 Subaru. Find your authorized retailer at Subaru of New England .com. Weissert is on to face Mike Trout. Two on, one out. The rally monkey on the video board here in Anaheim. I'll tell you about that and more after this on the Shaws and Star Market, WEI Red Sox Network. During this call to the bullpen, it's the perfect time to check out all the great content at buyfordnow.com. Find Ford offers you won't see advertised anywhere else. Search Ford dealer inventory for your dream vehicle. Compare Ford SUVs, trucks, and electric vehicles versus the competition. Calculate your trade-in value and learn about exclusive offers for military and first responders. So, visit buyfordnow.com and then see your New England Ford dealers. Have you been putting off new windows for your home? Now is the time to visit CCL in Abington. We've partnered with Matthews Brothers in Maine to bring you the best in windows. Matthews Brothers has been making windows since 1854. Come check out our line of wicked awesome windows from Matthews Brothers at CCL in Abington. Make your home energy efficient in 2024 with Matthews Brothers windows. Check us out online at capecodlumber.com or visit the CCL showroom in Abington today. We are 100% employee owned and operated. Hi, this is Chris Martin. You're listening to the home of the Red Sox, W-E-E-I. For the second time in as many nights, Greg Weissert faking, facing Mike, Mike Trout. Here he is with two on and one out on his slider. A big sweeper misses outside for ball one. And last night, Weissert came on in the fifth inning in relief of Cutter Crawford and retired Trout in almost the same spot. Although in that situation, the bases were loaded 1-0. Two on here. The pitch is ripped into left field, but in on it comes Duran on the run. He dives and makes the play. Brilliant defense by Jaron Duran. He is fired up in left field, and he takes a hit and probably an RBI away from Mike Trout. Wow, what a play from Jaron Duran. That's how you pick up the absence of a defensive wizard like Trevor Story. Different position, but 
Darren Durant says, we're not losing much in the defensive run save department. This is a huge play, especially because if he doesn't snag it, it probably hops past him for at least a run, maybe even two. And the coverage in the outfield has just been so great for the Red Sox so far this year. And now, one bullet dodged. Here's Taylor Ward. Right-handed hitter against Weissert. He's walked and struck out against Whitlock, who just goes four and a third tonight. Pitch is a beauty. Sweeper right there. In the front door, the inside corner to a right-handed hitter. And that is strike one. The Red Sox have been in and out of trouble all night long. Can they get one more big out in a jam here? 0 and 1. Weissert, that closed-off stance throws. Here's a high pop into right field. O'Neill has it lined up, though. Over to his left. He's there to make the play. Inning over. Job well done by Greg Weissert. Garrett Whitlock will get him a beer after the game. We go to the sixth inning. one nothing. Sox lead on the Shaws and Star Market. WEEI Red Sox Network. Now you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile. So whether you're playing a game at home... Yes, cool. ...or attending one live... No! You'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile at cox.com slash internet. Other restrictions apply. Spring Fest starts now at Lowe's. Right now, get up to 35% off, plus save an extra $150 on every $1,500 you spend on select major appliances, like the GE Profile 2-in-1 Combo Washer and Dryer. In about two hours, you can wash and dry a full load of laundry all in one machine. Because Lowe's knows home improvement. Valid 4-1 through 5-1. Savings vary based on purchase amount. Selection varies by location. While supplies last. See Lowe's.com for details. The world needs ways to reduce carbon emissions. We're working on solutions in our own operations. Like carbon capture. And clean energy from hydrogen. So, who are we? Believe it or not, ExxonMobil. And our solutions could help industries like manufacturing, commercial transportation, and power generation too. Heavy industry with low emissions. Let's deliver. Learn more at ExxonMobil.com. Set yourself up for success sooner than later. After graduation, when I got my first official full-time job, I realized punctuality is imperative. It wasn't until I was a parent when I realized being reliable is critical. I'm pretty sure it wasn't until I retired when I realized how essential it is to be health conscious. Steve Lewis and Company. Invest with confidence. Helping you plan a brighter future. Hi, this is Tristan Casas. You're listening to the home of the Red Sox W-E-E-I. It's a 1-0 Red Sox lead into the sixth in a game that has Jaron Duran's fingerprints all over it. He's got the only run scoring hit. He's leading off the sixth against Detmers and he goes chasing a high fastball <laughs> up and in. Feeling himself. You're right, he's done it all. I mean, this is the true definition of being a game changer. The diving catch to rob Mike Trout of at least a bases loading single. Lefty lefty, the 0 1 pitch, a jam shot foul into the third base seats. Let's pause 10 seconds for station ID on the Shaws and Star Market WEEI Red Sox Network. From the WEEI Studios, 93.7 WEEI-FM and HD1, Lawrence, Boston. Always live on the free Odyssey app. With Will Fleming, I'm Tyler Murray. It's a Saturday night in Southern California. Red Sox looking to take each of the first two games this weekend in Anaheim. 0-2 to Duran, swing and a miss. He just did not look comfortable in that at-bat. Emergency swing, but he did not connect with a 93 mile an hour fastball. So Reed Detmers is 1K away from matching his career high of 12 strikeouts, and he's done it with just one out in the sixth. Adam Simber, the submariner, is warming up in the bullpen for the Angels. Base is empty, one out for Pablo Reyes, who takes a fastball down low. Red Sox baseball brought to you by your New England Ford dealers. Now during truck month, get a great deal on Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 47 years straight. And the official truck of your Boston Red Sox. The hack, but comes up empty at 93. Ooh, this is so impressive from Detmers. I mean, he's just making these Red Sox hitters look overmatched. But once again, he's on the wrong side of a tight game against Whitlock and mm. the Sox. Now changeup fools him badly. Wow. Ray is way out in front for strike two. Ooh. There's so many 
bad looking swings for an offense that the last few days has really started to do it. Felt like they had unlocked something yesterday. Entered the series with four homers all year. They hit three in one inning and five across the ball game. One, two, Reyes just gets a piece. <laughs> I mean, it is not fair right now. That is such a defensive swing. You, you just never see that from Pablo. Just shaking his head, wondering what in the world is coming next. They might have something here with Reed Detmer, who's just 24 years old. 1-2 Reyes takes high. It was the 10th overall pick in the 2020 draft out of Louisville. And so much of the story of Mike Trout's prime being wasted here is because of lack of starting pitching. Maybe they got one guy at least. Reyes takes a curveball, oh. called third strike, and for the third time in his career, it's a 12 strikeout game for Reed Detmers. Big looping curve at 75, right on the outer black. And Reyes is 0 for 3 with three strikeouts. Good time for your big dog to snap you out of a funk offensively. Rafi Devers got his first career hit against Detmers last time up. Huh? It'll take a fastball strike outside corner. He disagrees, but it's nothing in one. It was uh, 0 for 7 before his leadoff single in the fourth against Reed Detmers. Red Sox one, Angels nothing, top of the sixth at Angels Stadium. Lefty-lefty matchup, the 0-1 breaking ball ripped into center field, hanging up for Mike Trout, though. He'll jog in and make the grab. And Reed Detmers through 93 pitches, six innings, matching a career-high 12 Ks, but it's still one nothing Red Sox on the road in Anaheim. On the Shaws and Star Market, WEEI, Red Sox Network. Are you ready to focus on what you're truly passionate about? At the University of Massachusetts Amherst, we're committed to helping students design a meaningful path for their future. As one of the country's top tier public research universities, we're helping drive the world forward, empowering students to challenge convention, champion innovation, and embrace the freedom of affecting real positive change in the world. Tap now to explore flexible options for a high quality education or visit umass.edu. Be revolutionary. Save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile and get fiber-powered internet at home and unbeatable 5G reliability on the go. So whether you're playing a game at home yes, cool. or attending one live, no! you can do more without spending more. Learn how to save at cox.com slash internet. Cox Internet is connected to the premises via coaxial connection. Cox Mobile runs on the network with unbeatable 5G reliability as measured by Ookla LLC in the U.S. 1H 2023. Results may vary. Not an endorsement. Other restrictions apply. Your green lawn starts right now at Rocky's Ace Hardware with Scott's Four Step. One lush green lawn, four easy steps. Spring, late spring, summer, and fall. Get to Rocky's now for instant savings up to $75 off the full program. Scott's Four Step gives you fertilizer, insect, and rodent control and protection against weeds, fungus, and disease. Buy now at Rocky's and save big for the season. Rocky's also has mulch, soil, rakes, shovels, and tools. Rocky's Ace Hardware, your home for hardware and more. Find your store at Rocky's.com. Um. It's Renewal by Anderson's 30-Day Spring Sale, and there's no better way to freshen up your home than replacing your windows and patio doors. For a limited time, buy one replacement window or patio door. Get one 40% off, plus special financing available. Renewal by Anderson installs custom Fibrex windows that are energy efficient and are as beautiful to look at as they are to look through. Get started with their free, no-obligation in-home consultation today. Visit RenewalByAndersonDeal.com. That's RenewalByAndersonDeal.com. Restrictions apply. This is Tyler O'Neill. You're listening to the home of the Red Sox, W-E-E-I. one nothing Red Sox. Angels coming to bat in the bottom of the sixth against Greg Weiser. Aaron Hicks batting from the left side. will take a sweeper a little bit low. Hicks leads off in the Herb Chambers batting order. Brought to you by Herb Chambers pre-owned cars and trucks. Garrett Whitlock worked around four hits and four walks with some help from Weister to get to the fifth. 1-0. There's a strike. Sinker at 93. Well, and he only threw 20 fastballs at one seamer, and three-quarters of them were strikes. So I think that's something that is worth monitoring, maybe even tweaking. Well, the pitch sequencing has been fascinating to keep track of Ooh. as the 1-1 is tip foul. <laughs> Big rip at a sweeper. Aaron Hicks 0-2. 
Caught looking in the second. Popped out in the fourth. Both, of course, against Whitlock. He's 3 for 21 this season. He did have a homer on Tuesday after an 0 for 11 start. Leading off the sixth, the 1 2 pitch. Fastball inside at 95. And well, Weissert wants that one. Well, Dan Hurley has done it again. The UConn Huskies are going to the final. They will play Purdue on Monday night. Chance to go back to back. 2 2 to Hicks. Foul back. That's a good night for a Red Sox off day. I would say. <laughs> I don't know that I'll be allowed to watch after being away for two weeks. My son will want to, although, what did it start, 9.30 on the East Coast? Extremely late. Almost as late as these games have been for the diehard Red Sox fans out East. Hi, son. I'm Dad. Remember me? (laughs) 2-2 from Weiser. Foul back again. That's a fun matchup, though. I mean, he really, those are the two best teams all year long. And to have it work out that way, to have Purdue, who... Broke their 43-year drought in the Final Four. Play UConn, who's just been an absolute juggernaut. That, in terms of just a television show, that's as good as you could do. And they haven't played hardly any close games in the tournament the last two years, UConn. 2-2 two, two sweeper way inside ball three. That's the uh, 19 inches of horizontal break on that sweeping slider from Greg Weissert. And the home plate is just 17 inches wide, so that moves quite a bit. With his body pointing to the shortstop, Weiser oh. strikes out <laughs> Hicks with a, that's a nasty back foot sweeper on a 3-2 pitch, and Hicks is 0 for 3. It's just phenomenal. How does anybody hit that? I mean, uh, that thing starts over the inside corner of the plate and breaks towards his kneecaps, and it is so much like John Schreiber. I mean, the mannerisms, the facial hair, and just that closed-off cross-firing action. He's retired all three batters he's faced so far. Now it's righty on righty. Logan Ohapi will take a sinker for a strike at 94. The Weiser came on with two on and one out in the fifth. He got Trout to fly out to left, dive and catch by Duran, and then Ward flied out to right. 0-1 is chopped foul, so nothing in two. Again, he threw just two pitches yesterday. Left them loaded in the sixth. Another fly ball off the bat of Mike Trout. Oh, happy tonight is one for two. He had the big game time grand slam yesterday. Oh, two. Oh, happy takes. Oh, outside at 93. <laughs> You're Close. right. You do have to wait for Dan Bellino. And that very easily could have been called a strike. I think it should have been. Excellent framing at the very least by Connor Wong. Base is empty, one down. It's one nothing. Red Sox, bottom of the sixth. Weissert's 1-2 pitch. A little mm. bit low with the slider. Weissert stands tall. Hides the ball so well. 2-2 pitch is rolled foul. You can see the red 5 and 7 on the back of his jersey. With how exaggerated he is hiding that ball. And yes, they are back to the Grays tonight. They got the win in the Blues for the first time yesterday, but it wasn't an entirely happy night. 2-2 is fought off foul back to the screen. Beyond the uh, Trevor Story injury, and yes, he's on the injured list, uh, left shoulder subluxation. Had two scares in the injury department as well. Sedan Rafaela and Rafi Devers both hit in the hand with pitches. The teams combined for five hit batters last night. Here's the 2 2. Swing and a deep drive foul down the left field line. He sold out right there. Did Ohab before that sweeper looking for it? Yanked it foul. So you wonder whether my certainly think about climbing the ladder with that four seamer here. He can get it up to 95. Base is empty, one down. Two balls and two strikes. Here's the pitch from Weiser. Oh, Hoppy popped it up. A mile high into left field. Devers and Reyes oh, backpedal for oh. it. They're talking, and Devers steps in front of Pablo to make the catch. <laughs> what was that? That's so weird. I, I don't know whether they couldn't hear each other. I mean, that's a shortstop ball. And he's standing right underneath it. Rafi is laughing with Pablo, who does not actually look particularly happy about that 
situation. He did go with a fastball up and out of the zone, and it worked. <laughs> but they still looking over at Reyes, who <laughs> well, they get some separation here. As the first pitch to Ren Hefo is rolled over to the second baseman, oh. a falling stab by Valdez. He should have held on to that one. He fired it toward the dugout, and a good backup by Connor Wong will keep Ren Hefo at first base with a single. Yeah, you nailed it. I mean, that's a great play by Wong to get down the line. Really nice range again by Valdez to get over and get that thing, but in no universe from that situation should he throw the ball. But he did, and the Angels have the tying run aboard. Yeah, he reached over to get it, and his momentum took him onto his back. So he threw the ball, really looking up at this night sky here in Anaheim, and it was not close. Otang runs aboard, two down in the bottom of the six for the Angels, and Mickey Moniak is at the plate. Takes a sweeper up and away for ball one. Moniak was retired on a great play by Edmanuel Valdez to end the fourth. A headlong dive toward the right field foul line out in shallow right field. Popped to his feet and threw him out. That stranded two. 1 0 pitch is outside. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just watching a little clip of Tracy Wolfson after the uh, UConn win. She literally got a ladder to be able to interview <laughs> Donovan Klingon. That was something she was asking for for a while. Stepped up onto a ladder to put the microphone by his face. It's the, uh, the UConn seven footer. 2 0 pitch, a rip and a miss from Oniak. <laughs> Whatever it takes. They are an early six-point favorite over Purdue for Monday night. Who you got? It is so hard to bet against UConn. It really is. Huskies it is. Wow, a back-to-back. -back. Runner goes. Pitch is taken for a strike. Throw from Wong. Looks good. They got him. Ren Hefo is out at second base. And five fingers from the dugout from Ron Washington. He's so out. We want to look at it. I mean, why do they keep running on Connor Wong? He's got a howitzer. He's definitely out. They should not look. They will. Wow. Ooh. Wow, closer than I thought, Tyler. It's just that the execution from Wong and Reyes, credit for the good tag. It's so perfect. Ooh. Hard to believe Renhifo beat it, but it is very close. It's caught it shoulder high. It's very, I mean, it's like frame by frame nanoseconds here. Los Angeles is challenging the outcall at second base. The previous play is under review. So this is one where they have to really slow it down. Another great throw by Wong. And it's so close. I mean, I do think he's safe, actually. But it's so close. The fact that the call on the field was out gives the Red Sox a chance on this play. This is a moment where... If the bases are smaller like they were two years ago, he's out by quite a bit probably. You know, another thing that drives me crazy is that you're allowed to wear these sliding mitts and that that counts as part of your body and your hand. Uh, he was. And if he, if he's safe, he got it by the edge of a mitt. And I wish I remembered which uh, Red Sox podcast I heard this on, but there was a, a conversation. Why not just wear a foam finger the long number one <laughs> so you can reach out and get to the base. Yeah, look, here we go. After review, the ruling on the field is overturned. The runner is safe. Uh, again, that's a good challenge, Tyler, but it, I really think, seriously, the mitt touched the bag before the hand. Yeah. I mean, it's just impossible to tell whether his actual fingers touched the bag. Very close, and now the tying run is second. So in a Alternate universe with less technology. Connor Wong is three for three, throwing out would-be base dealers, but two overturned reviews means he's one for three, and now a tying run to second base with two down. And look, I think it's good for the game, obviously, those kinds of reviews. If he's safe, he's safe. I'm, I'm glad the sport has it. Other plays, like when a, a base runner sort of slides over the bag and is called out, we could do with less of that, but Ron Washington in their video room, they're having a good night. That back continues. Mickey Moniak, two balls, two strikes, two outs, and a man at second. It's one nothing Red Sox, bottom of the sixth. Weissert's pitch, ripped foul. Out in front of a slider, came off the bat at 104. 
Moniak still does not have a hit yet this season. He's really just been a, a left-handed bat off the bench for Ron Washington to this point. As Isaiah Campbell takes some warm-up throws in the Red Sox bullpen. A hit could tie it. Renhifo with speed off of second base. 2-2 two -two pitch from Weiser. Grounded foul. Again, not the easiest thing for him to have to take a break for the review in the middle of this at-bat. Which is going to wind up being at least a seven-pitch at-bat. Whitlock was working in and out of trouble all game. Two base runners in the first, second, and fourth. Did not give up a run. Another 2-2 from Weiser. Down low with the slider. Three balls and two strikes. First base is open. The nine-hitter is on deck, Zach Meadow. He's singled back in the fifth inning. Nothing in the run column aside from the Jaron Duran RBI single in the third. Here comes the payoff pitch from Weiser. Low ball four. His 28th pitch misses. And his first walk puts two men aboard now. And uh, here comes Alex Gore. I think it's the right call. I mean, it, you could just tell you know, back to back. Even though he didn't throw many pitches, as you said last night, it's just not quite as sharp. That sweeper was not close. So now you're going to go to Campbell to try to get out of this mess. Today's Red Sox code word of the game is check swing. Make sure to enter your code word in the member portal today to claim your points. Check swing is the code word. And we've seen it in the 110th pitch tonight. It's brought to you by 110 Grill. It's gluten-free dining done right. 110 Grill is an official partner of the Red Sox radio network. Well, pitching change in a pressure spot for Isaiah Campbell, who jogs in from the left field bullpen. When we come back, he's scheduled to face Zach Neto with the tying run at second and the go-ahead run at first with two down in the bottom of the sixth inning. That's next on the Shaws and Star Market WEEI Red Sox Network. Hey, Sox fans, there are a lot of reasons to love being a Ford owner. And now, Ford Pickup and Delivery is one more. Just tell your dealer when and where you'd like to have your Ford picked up, home or work, and we'll come get it, service it, and return it to you. Ford Pickup and Delivery is part of U-Mode. Benefits made just for Ford owners. See your participating Ford dealer for important program details and terms and conditions. Ford, official partner of the Boston Red Sox. You've reached Monster Bank. Please enter your 35-digit account number. I don't have it. State your name. Jim Robbins. Okay, Mr. Blobkins, how can we help you? It's Robbins. You said pay off my mortgage. I'll transfer you. No, 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 no. I need to open a small business account. But I will head Bellamette Monster Bank. If your bank doesn't understand you, that's bull****. Now there's a bank helping small businesses succeed. Owner's Bank. All business, no bull****. Learn more at ownersbank.com. Owner's Bank is a division of Liberty Bank. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Hey, it's Rob Rest Center. This is the home of the Sox, W-E-E-I. Isaiah Campbell into the game for the Red Sox. Two on, two out. It is one nothing Sox in the bottom of the sixth. Today through Thursday at Shaw's and Star Market, get value pack 80% lean fresh ground beef or 93% lean Shady Brook Farms ground turkey. Just $2.77 a pound when you use the digital coupon. Limit two. Shaw's and Star Market, the official supermarket of the Red Sox radio network. Last night in the eighth inning, Isaiah Campbell came on. He got Zach Neto to ground out to second, Anthony Rendon to ground out to third, and Nolan Shanoel to bounce out to short. He's got Neto now, two on two out. First pitch grounded to shortstop, moving to his left. Reyes gloves it flipped to second, too late. Runner coming home from third. They got him in a rundown, but he dives back into third base safely. Renhifo almost got too aggressive there, but pulled back, and the bases are loaded after an infield single for Zach Neto. I think Pablo had time to go to first there. And you know, he's ranging far to his left. Not an easy try, but he had a little difficulty getting it out of the glove. Kind of a sidehand flip. And just a perfectly placed ground ball with eyes. Can the Red Sox escape one more pickle? They've been in so many of them in these two days here in Anaheim. They've stranded seven runners in five minutes. Bases juice for Rendon. And he'll take a pitch down low. If they get out of this, it'll be 10 runners stranded 
in the first seven innings. Rendon, a single, a strikeout, and a lineout tonight. 1 0 Red Sox. Bases loaded, two out. Mm. And the 1 0. Nice slider, bottom of the zone, a called strike. Well, already. I'm not saying he definitely makes these plays, but absence making the heart grow fonder for Trevor's story. 1 1 from Campbell. Rendon swings and misses. Slider for strike two. Neto at first. Moniak at second. Renjifo is at third. A ball and two strikes. Campbell's pitch. Low. Slider. Two and two. Rendon bent the knees to guide that one all the way down through. Six hits, five walks, no run surrendered yet for the Red Sox. 2-2 two -two from Campbell. Rendon bounces one to third base. Devers backs up on it. It's off his glove into left field, and the Angels will take the lead. Rene Hifo in from third. Moniak scores from second. Neto goes around from first to third. It's 2-1 Angels in the bottom of the sixth. Well, Rafi played that Indian air. He was caught in between a false step in, then back. In between Hop is Andrew Bailey is going to come out and talk to Campbell. And that's just a killer. I mean, the Red Sox, who were so good to start the season, now without Trevor's story. And, you know, Devers, the face of the franchise, highest paid player. He's just got to keep coming in on that thing. Instead, he backs up, makes it a very difficult play. And that just gifts the Angels the lead. If he fields it cleanly, he's got plenty of options to force at any base. But once it got past him, especially running on contact with two outs, that was easily a two-run swing. Mm. And this place has come to life. Anthony Rendon reaching on the E5. 2-1 Angels. Runners at the corners now. Two down in the bottom of the sixth. Campbell's pitch to Shauna Well. There's a slider that misses outside. Remember, the Red Sox scored a run in each of the last four innings last night. They'll need a similar finish here. 1-0 pitch. That dips down low. Two balls and no strikes. Donnewell's 0 for 2. And work to walk in the fifth. The kick in the 2-0. High and outside. Three balls and no strikes. Mike Trout is waiting on deck. And the Halos have been knocking on the door all night. And with the defensive miscue at third base, they've finally broken through. 3-0 pitch. Bounces ball four. Well, I mean, too many walks in this game for the Red Sox. They've been expert at that all season long, but Weissert issued a walk in this inning. Campbell now his own six overall. And what a spot this is. And Campbell got to dig deep against the three time MVP. Feels like forever ago, but Greg Weissert started this inning two up, two down. Five straight runners have reached, and Mike Trout takes a breaking ball low, ball one. When Hefo singled, Moniak walked, Neto an infield single, Rendon a two-run error, and Sean Awell a four-pitch walk. Campbell's got to dig deep. 1-0 pitch, it's blasted to left field, but it'll hang up for Jaron Duran. Left center field gap will cut over, and he makes the catch to leave him loaded. And the side is retired, but not before two unearned runs score to give the Angels a 2-1 lead after six in Anaheim on the Shaw's and Star Market WEEI Red Sox Network. Now you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile. So whether you're playing a game at home, yes, cool, or attending one live, no! you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile at cox.com slash internet. Other restrictions apply. Spring Fest starts now at Lowe's. Right now, get up to 35% off, plus save an extra $150 on every $1,500 you spend on select major appliances, like the GE Profile 2-in-1 Combo Washer and Dryer. 
In about two hours, you can wash and dry a full load of laundry all in one machine. Because Lowe's knows home improvement. Valid 4 1 through 5 1. Savings vary based on purchase amount. Selection varies by location. While supplies last, see Lowe's.com for details. Your car's dings, faded paint, and scratches aren't going to fix themselves. At Mako, paint damage repair is as easy as book, quote, fix. Come to Mako to refresh your ride with a paint and collision repair backed by our best price guarantee. Uh oh, better get Mako. When you're high, you feel different. Pretty obvious, right? You think different, talk different, but if you feel different, you drive different. So if you're high, just don't drive. Brought to you by NHTSA and the Ad Council. It's Renewal by Anderson's 30-Day Spring Sale, and there's no better way to freshen up your home than replacing your windows and patio doors. For a limited time, buy one replacement window or patio door. Get one 40% off, plus special financing available. Renewal by Anderson installs custom Fibrex windows that are energy efficient and are as beautiful to look at as they are to look through. Get started with their free no-obligation in-home consultation today. Visit RenewalByAndersonDeal.com. That's RenewalByAndersonDeal.com. Restrictions apply. Well, five straight Angels reach with two outs in the sixth, including an E5 that leads to two game swinging runs. It is 2 1 Angels on to the seventh. And Adam Simber is into the game. Maybe this is a lift for the Red Sox. They had trouble figuring out Reed Detmers, who gave up just one run in six innings with a career high 12 Ks. Tyler O'Neill leads off. And he'll take a first pitch strike from the Submariner, Adam Simber. Scheduled to hit was O'Neill, Dahlbeck, and Casas, but Masataki Yoshida is on deck. As O'Neill turns out of the way of a slider, way inside 2-0. Yeah, Alex thinks the Angels only have one left-hander available in their bullpen, so you can go all out with the lefties here. So Jose Suarez pitched for a while yesterday. 1-1 one, one mm. pitch, clips the outside corner, strike two. Another bad call by Dan Bellino. I mean, he's just had a bad night. It's such a changer there. It should be 2-1 instead, 1-2 one and two to O'Neal. O'Neal maybe didn't get the best fortune in the fourth when he struck out looking. 1-2 pitch, high and away, ball two. It's not easy to umpire, but again, for the 100th time this week, we just need the challenge system. It has to happen soon. Not everyone's going to go 99% like Alex Tosi last night. 2-2 two, two pitch. Ooh. Just missed outside. Might have been a cross up there with the catcher, Ohapi, and that could have saved Tyler O'Neill. So much movement on that backup little two-seamer. Payoff pitch. O'Neill hits one hard on the ground in the shortstop, and it's gloved by Neto. Sets his feet, lobs it across the diamond in plenty of time. And even though O'Neill hit that 107 off the bat, he's retired. That'll bother him. I mean, look, the, when a hitter is locked in like O'Neill is right now, just like Casas feeling the strike zone. You just feel robbed when an umpire takes it at that away from you. Pinch hitter Masataka Yoshida now joins the Herb Chambers batting order sponsored by Herb Chambers Audi Burlington and Audi Brookline. Bobby Dahlbeck was the DH, so easy swap there for Alex Cora. Yoshida takes one way inside from the righty Simber. And look, it, he has put in so much work. He is an integral part of what the Red Sox have been trying to do. But you wonder whether Bobby Dahlbeck. 1 0 pitch hits him hard in the back. A slider at 75. He'll reach as the tying run. You wonder how much longer they can hang with him. I mean, that hit him right on the, the arm guard, thankfully. That could have been painful for Yoshida. But you got Romy Gonzalez so hot down at AAA. I mean, Dahlbeck is now 0 for 8 with six strikeouts. And if Demers was good, he really was. But these are the kinds of games where you need him to produce. And you wonder how much more runway he'll have. We've got uh, David Hamilton up to replace Trevor's story. Sounds like the Red Sox want to use him and Pablo Reyes as a lefty-righty platoon at shortstop. But Dahlbeck, of course, that's a, a DH and corner infielder discussion. It's Tristan Casas waiting to step into the batter's box. Didn't see the ball well for Reed Detmers. Struck out swinging twice. Two of the career-high 12 Ks for the southpaw. But now he gets a righty and Simber. 
First pitch is a fastball off the outside edge, 1-0. and I think that adds to the frustration for somebody like O'Neill because Simber's not been close, and he's missed badly in a lot of pitches. He doesn't really deserve the He plucked Yoshida, who's at first, as Casas flinched at a fastball, didn't pull the trigger, and he takes one for a strike on the outside corner. It's 1-1. One one. Sedan Rafael waiting on deck. It was 1-0 Red Sox after a Jaron Duran single, top three, and they held that lead until two unearned runs in the bottom of the sixth. 1-1 one, one pitch, misses the outer edge for ball two. It is copyrighted broadcast is presented by the authority of the Boston Red Sox and may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form, and the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of WEEI and the Boston Red Sox. 2-1 from Simber, way outside, ball three. Well, you got Casas at the plate, Rafael on deck. Then it would be Wong's spot. He's looked pretty good at the plate, but Reese McGuire's two for three against him with a triple, and now Abreu's going to come out, and he will hit for Rafaela. The decision made... After the pitch miss for 3-1. Next oh. On the inside corner. Now that was another cross up here that did catch the inside corner, but Ohapi reaching way across his body, and that's why Costas is frustrated. This stuff is just moving so much from Simber. Costas had his first homer of the year last night. Here's a 3-2. He fouls it straight back. Seventh inning brought to you by Sherwin-Williams. The exclusive Sherwin-Williams Pro Plus program will help you grow and manage your paint business. Yes, it is Willier Abreu on deck. And you said it. Alex Cora was planning to use a lot of lefties off the bench once they got rid of the southpaw starter, Reed Detmers. I think it's Justin Slayton up in the Red Sox bullpen. They hope he's pitching with the lead. Right now it's 2-1 Angels. One on, one out, top of the seventh. Big 3-2 pitch coming here to Tristan Casas. Swing and a miss, strike three. Snuck a fastball by him at 87. Maybe for the first time, Simber knew where that pitch was going. Mm. That's tough. I mean, that's that one that fades away from Tristan. Perfect placement. Can Abreu catch up to one? He's seen so many high fastballs. And his sort of upward angle as the Angels pitching coach is going to come out and give the book on Willier Abreu. I mean, he's got such a sweet, natural swing, does Willier, but uh, he's seen a lot of high fastballs and not been able to catch up to them. Two hits and 13 at-bats this year for Willier Abreu. It's his first plate appearance of the weekend here at the Big A. Meeting of the minds concludes on the mound. And some big pitches coming up for Adam Simbru, who needed 15 tosses to get the first two outs of the seventh inning. He hit Masataka Yoshida on that arm guard. So that is the tying run at first base with two down in the top of the seventh. First pitch to Abreu. Breaking ball misses well outside. Angels bullpen is quiet, so you wonder whether Alex would be overly aggressive here. And Wong on deck, if Abreu can extend the inning, what he'd do. Simbers allowed just one run in now four and a third innings this year. 1-0 to Willier. Big swing and a miss. Ooh. High slider. And a hanger sneaks by him. Yeah, when he's right, that pitch goes 400 feet. Yeah. Just a little bit in between right now is Abreu. That was a mistake pitch. Simber gets away with it. The 1-1. Tried the back door, but didn't get the corner. Two balls on the strike. That's the other thing about Abreu, even if the bat isn't quite warmed up to start the year, its plate discipline is as good as it gets. Nice take there. And now the 2-1 from Simber. Swinging a high drive center field, sending Trout back toward the warning track. But Angel Stadium will hold it. He reaches up and makes the grab. And the side is retired in the top of the seventh inning. Yoshida stranded, and the Angels still have a 2-1 lead at the stretch here in Southern California on the Shaw's and Star Market, WEEI Red Sox Network. Save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile and get fiber-powered internet at home and unbeatable 5G reliability on the go. So whether you're playing a game at home, yes, cool, or attending one live, no! 
You can do more without spending more. Learn how to save at cox.com slash internet. Cox Internet is connected to the premises via coaxial connection. Cox Mobile runs on the network with unbeatable 5G reliability as measured by Ookla LLC in the U.S. 1H2023. Results may vary. Not an endorsement. Other restrictions apply. Spring Fest starts now with new savings at Lowe's. Right now, get up to 35% off, plus save an extra $150 on every $1,500 you spend on select major appliances. Discover the new GE Appliances range with removable easy wash oven tray for easy cleaning in your dishwasher. Because Lowe's knows home improvement. Valid 4-1 through 5-1. Savings vary based on purchase amount. Selection varies by location. While supplies last, see Lowe's.com for details. Your car's dings, faded paint, and scratches aren't going to fix themselves. At Mako, paint damage repair is as easy as book, quote, fix. Come to Mako to refresh your ride with a paint and collision repair backed by our best price guarantee. Uh-oh, better get Mako. Hey, did you know Visaprint prints everything a small business needs? Like if a barbershop needs signage, we print outdoor signs, posters, and banners. Or if a ballet school needs merch. What? We print tote bags, t-shirts, hoodies, hats. Or if a coffee shop needs a total refresh, Vistaprint designs logos and prints it on menus, mugs, paper bags, anything. Because with Vistaprint, the printabilities are endless. Print it all with 25% off for new customers with code NEW25 at vistaprint.com. It's Brennan Bernardino. This is the home of the Red Sox, W-E-E-I. Well, a big pitch from Adam Simber to get Willie Rebreu to retire the side, which is brought to you by Azek Exteriors, featuring new Azek bevel and shake siding, engineered to deliver classic beauty. But without all the maintenance, visit azekexteriors.com. Angels 2, Red Sox 1, bottom of the seventh inning. Justin Slayton into the game against Taylor Ward, who swings and fouls one back. Willie Rebreu is into the game in right field. Tyler O'Neill is in left. It's like Jaron Duran's out there in center. Abreu pinch hit for Sedan Rafaela. And let's see, did uh, Ward break his bat? There he's walking back to the dugout. So yeah, Slayton is into the game to pitch. Abreu the right fielder. Yoshida stays as the DH. He pinch hit for Bobby Dahlbeck. O'Neill is in left, and yes, Duran is in center. So, yeah, they're showing a replay on the Nesson telecast. After that swing, Ward was looking at his bat, trying to see if there was an issue, and apparently there was, so he grabs a new one, and he comes back to home plate. He is leading off the bottom of the seventh for the Angels here in the Herm Chambers batting order. They've got a 2-1 lead. A one pitch from Slayton. Is outside a sweeper at 85. Slayton has gone 11 up, 11 down since that walk off hit from Julio Rodriguez in Slayton's big league debut. 1 1 pitch. He flinched at a sweeper, but it misses outside righty on righty. Ward struck out and walked against Whitlock. Flied out to leave two men aboard against Weissert in the fifth. Red Sox really piecing it together through about five and two thirds. 2-1 pitch. Called strike. Top of the zone. Cutter at 90. With the big play of the game so far. It was bases loaded. Two down in the sixth. Isaiah Campbell made a good pitch. Got a soft grounder to third, but it spun off the glove of Rafi Devers. 2-2 is down low. Full count. And Devers backed up on the play. It was a tough in-between hop, but didn't do himself any favors. Tipped off his glove and into left field to bring home the only two runs for the Angels tonight. Payoff pitch from Slayton. Check swing on a cutter. He went around strike three. That is nasty. As it darted off the outside corner, Ward could not check his swing. Went away. Aaron Hicks is introduced. He's 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts today. And Slayton now just a... 36 pitches into his big league career. And that cutter really helped him rise to the Rangers system last year as Hicks will take a strike. He said that the uh, Rangers double-A coaches last spring training were telling him that his cutter was the best pitch in the system or at least had the potential to be. Next offering to Hicks. Tried to spin a sweeper on the outside corner, but it dropped down low. 
So a ball and a strike. Hicks batting with the bases empty and one down. Angels lead 2-1 in the bottom of the seventh. Red Sox held to just the RBI single from Duran. 1-1, a rip and a miss on a back foot sweeper. 1-2 on Hicks, who's going to take a walk around the batter's area dirt to think about what he's done. He's 3 for 21 this season with nine strikeouts. It has not been a hot start to the year. The Orioles manager, Brandon Hyde, has said that Hicks saved our season last year. Cedric Mullins went down. They got him from the Yankees at the deadline, and he filled in admirably to help the Orioles finish off one of their best years in a long time. 1-2 from Slayton. Hicks checked his swing on a high fastball at 97. Exaggerated shift over to the pole side for Hicks. That's the right side of the infield. 2-2. Fastball just missed. Apparently below the knees. And the count is full. Red Sox will have the 8-9-1 part of the order coming up in the 8th. 3-2. Hicks cuts and misses. Strike three. Cutter down and in. He's used that twice to get swinging strikeouts to begin the seventh. And Aaron Hicks is 0 for 4 with three Ks. Great looking stuff from the hard throw in Justin Slate. Wow. He throws it like a back foot slider, but it comes in even harder to the left handed Hicks. Two up, two down, and here is Logan O'Hoppy. Righty on righty this time. And the Angels catcher will take a strike. Cut fastball again. Last year, O'Hoppy became the youngest catcher in Angels franchise history. He debuted at 23. Oh, one big rip and a miss. Almost went down on the knee to get that one. But he whiffs on the sweeper. Nothing in two. Red Sox held to just three hits so far. After hitting five homers yesterday. 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. He strikes out the side on 14 pitches. Justin Slayton unhittable. He gets Ward, Hicks, and Ohapi all swinging. And he keeps the Red Sox within one. After seven, it's Angels 2, Red Sox 1. On the Shaw's and Star Market, WEEI Red Sox Network. Now you'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile. So whether you're playing a game at home. Yes, cool. Or attending one live. Goal! You'll save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile at cox.com slash internet. Other restrictions apply. Spring Fest starts now with new savings at Lowe's. Right now, get up to 35% off, plus save an extra $150 on every $1,500 you spend on select major appliances. Discover the new GE Appliances range with removable easy wash oven tray for easy cleaning in your dishwasher. Because Lowe's knows home improvement. Valid 4-1 through 5-1. Savings vary based on purchase amount. Selection varies by location. While supplies last, see Lowe's.com for details. Get the one and done you want for your dog's monthly protection. NextGuard Plus, a Foxal Honor Moxie Dectin and Pyrantal Chewable Tablets. Protects against fleas, ticks, heartworm disease, roundworms, and hookworms. All in one delicious beef-flavored soft chew. Use with caution in dogs with a history of seizures or neurologic disorders. Dogs should be tested for existing heartworm infection prior to starting a preventive. Ask your vet about NextGuard Plus Chews. Cup Noodles is now in a paper cup. Now easier, now faster, now microwavable. The original cup noodles. Same noodles, same great taste. Now in a microwavable paper cup. Hey, it's Lucas Giolito. This is the home of the Sox, W-E-E-I. How we go into the eighth inning? Matt Moore is on for the Angels. Very good in his first two relief appearances. And... For the Red Sox, trailing it 2-1 to will be Connor Wong. And then scheduled to hit Manuel Valdez and Jaron Duran. What a stud Justin Slayton is proving to be. Yet another beach ball is out on the warning track in right field. Long time that was kind of a Dodgers stadium tradition, but we've seen three of them already in our first two days here in Anaheim. So here's Wong. 
who doubled and flied out to left against Matt Moore, the longtime starter with the Tampa Bay Rays, who's found a home in the bullpen. Pitch, swing and a miss. That was nasty. A changeup. Connor selling out for a fastball out in front, and it's 0 1. One of the things that Alex Cora has just harped on all year is competition. 0 1. Blow it in. Another change. And I think. It's working on a macro level with all the things that the Red Sox have done so far in this season, but I think particularly among the catchers, it really is bringing out the best in both Wong and McGuire. Here's a foul ball. Straight back, and it's one and two. Of course, the Red Sox brought in Heinemann and Perez, and well, there was a crowded catcher's room in spring training, and I don't think it's a stretch to say that that probably... Lit a fire under Reese McGuire, who sees most of the playing time. And Wong now kind of trying to re respond in kind. Leading off the eighth, trailing two to one. Here's the pitch in the dirt. Not even close. That's pretty good form there from the catcher. Oh, hoppy, nobody on base. But hey, the wiring says get over in a good blocking position. He did so, and it's two and two. Long leading off the Herb Chambers batting order, brought to you by Herb Chambers, Lexus of Sharon and Lexus of Hingham. Two and two, the pitch. High fly, he just missed that one. It'll hold up for Ward in front of the warning track. Looking up into the dark night sky, he makes the play. And there's one away. You're right about that competition conversation it was a first pitch double that connor wong had he got up there he hasn't had consistent opportunities he really didn't waste any time and i think it's a i don't think it's a problem but if it is it's a good one to have for alex cora with the options he has at backstop i'm going to play umpire dan bellino is telling valdez something i think maybe his back left pocket was undone and manu steps out now back in left on left one down in this eighth inning, the pitch fouled right underneath us. That was close, but it did not make it today through Thursday at Shaw's and Star Market. Mark Langston is smiling at me. He knows that I knew that was not going to get to us. Cool as a cucumber. He's in the Angels radio booth to our right, 0 and 1 to Valdez, the pitch inside and it's one and one so today through thursday at shaw's get value pack 80 percent lean fresh ground beef for 93 percent lean shady brook farms ground turkey 277 a pound when you use the digital coupon on a two to one one low more misses with a curveball and it's two and one tory hunter is in the dugout tonight for the la angels and on nesson they are Bringing smiles to our faces, watching him tumble into the dugout for the just about the most important swing of David Ortiz's career. Although I would rank it number three in his all-time list. Two and one, the pitch to Valdez. High fly to left center field. Trout, though, to his right is there to make the play. I mean, it flipped that entire game, that entire series. There's no question that they don't win that series. They got Verlander and Scherzer waiting in Detroit if they don't win that game at Fenway Park. But... I just cannot put anything above games four and five in the 2004 championship series against the Yankees. Yeah, that's when the legend really started. That was the first ones that came to mind. But our good friend Rob Bradford's on record multiple times saying that home run off of Benoit is the biggest home run in Red Sox franchise history. Well, that's stupid. Here's Jaron <laughs> Duran. That's a strike on the outside corner. It's 0-1. I mean, Poppy won an extra innings game against the New York Yankees to break an 86-year curse. It's not the most important. Here's the 0-1, and that's a check swing. Looked like he went. He did. And it's 0-2. I mean, it's a big hit. It changed that series. But when you've got that monkey on the back, all of those, to me, to those, everything pales in comparison. I think there'll be a lot of people at Fenway on Tuesday who can give you a first-hand account of how important those home runs were. No doubt about that. We'll celebrate the 0-4 team. We'll remember Tim Wakefield and Larry Lucchino. And now the Red Sox 6-2. and two. They'd love to turn this game around, and who knows? Head back in first place, the 0-2. That's outside. Curveball. And it's 1-2. and two. We love Rob. But we respectfully, at least I do, disagree. 
He used to be my boss when I was an intern at EEI.com, so I never disagree. <laughs> One, two. High drive into center field. Trout is back at the track. Trout at the wall. He leaps and makes the play. He took it away from Duran. Turnabout is fair play here in L.A. Duran gave it a big-time ride. <laughs> One of the all-time greats. Takes extra bases away from Jaron Duran. We'll go to the bottom of the 8-2-1. L.A. on the Shaws. And Star Market, WEI, Red Sox Network. Rev up the savings at JCPenney's Power Penny Days. Starting Wednesday, wrap up huge deals like Home Expressions Quick Dry Bath Towels, only $5. Stock up on fresh lineups of teas and tanks. Women's styles start at $9. And kids' thereabouts teas start at $7. Plus, bring home extra bling. Yes, please, lab-created gemstones, only $13 while they last. JCPenney, make everybody count. Offers valid on select styles 410 to 414. Power Penny deals excluded from coupons. Other exclusions apply. See store or jcp.com for details. At Enterprise, we know you're constantly on the move. Getting this. Thanks, Mom. Fixing that. You reach a destination. And then it's on to the next. And when life is moving at the speed of, well, life, Enterprise is right there with you. Around the corner and around the globe. We'll keep you moving forward. Enterprise. For lives in drive. At Penn Foster. You can earn your high school diploma online, on your time, and on your budget. You can start your education when you're ready. You can balance school with your life and your job. You can graduate early and get a head start on your goals. At Penn Foster, you can feel confident about your future with the accredited online high school program that's made to fit your life. Enroll today at PennFoster.edu. That's PennFoster.edu. High Five Casino. Social casino fun with real prizes and big Vegas hits. Have you had your High Five moment today? Hey there, I'm Bob. Before High Five Casino, my High Fives were more like low threes. But after my High Five moment, boom! High Fives all around. That's the spirit. High Five Casino is turning every moment into a High Five moment. Visit h5c.fun. That's h5c.fun. And start spinning and winning today. High Five Casino. High Five Casino is a social casino only. No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited. Play responsibly. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Hey, it's Tanner Howe. This is the home of the Red Sox. W-E-E-I. Justin Slayton, who was great in the seventh, continues in the bottom of the eighth. You'll see Luis Renjifo. Angels lead the Red Sox 2-1. to one. Devers error looming huge in this game as the first pitch cut fastball misses low for ball one. Angels have out hit the Red Sox 6-3. They've stranded 10. 1-0. Foul back off the glove of Wong. So in some ways, it's a little bit just that they have the lead, but... Sox were cruising along, had a great opportunity to get out of a jam. Endeavors played a ball into an error. One and one, the pitch. Swing and a miss. <laughs> Not even close on a Slayton sweeper. Awkward looking swing, and it's one and two. For every double the Red Sox hit, we donate $50 to the American Diabetes Association. Brought to you in part by the Mass Health Connector. If you need health insurance, go to mahealthconnector.org and find the right plan for you. And your family, one and two to Renjifo. Pitch. Got him. I mean, this guy, Justin Slayton, has been awesome for the Red Sox. He fans Renjifo, and there's one away. And he's another guy where, yes, eventually we're probably going to see Brendan Bernardino here, lefty specialist, but his stuff to lefties is so good from his right-handed pitching slot. Sweepers down and in, cutters down and in. He is just nasty no matter who's up there right now. Here now, Mickey Moniak, another left-handed hitter. Slayton's ready, the pitch. High fly into center field. But Duran's got it lined up. He's in center now with O'Neill in left and Abreu in right. Jaron very nearly tied this game. That was really, in a weird way, kind of fun to watch Mike Trout track that thing down. Built like a middle linebacker. He still can make it look pretty easy in the outfield. Sir Jared Durant growing up not far from here dreamed about hitting home runs over his head. And he did yesterday to win the game. Almost did it again to tie the game here tonight. There's Zach Neto who's so good. 
Defensively right-handed hitter. Two down, bases empty, and pitch misses low for ball one. Red Sox in the ninth inning, peeking ahead, have Reyes, Devers, and O'Neill do up. One and oh, the pitch. Chopped toward third, but foul. They've already used Yoshida. He's in for Dahlbeck as the designated hitter. Bray also in the game. Reese McGuire has been so hot with the bat. I mean, it's obviously not a natural switch for the Red Sox to bring in a lefty for Pablo Reyes as Neto broke his bat. Let's see how Alex Gora plays it. Slayton absolutely dominant tonight. Gave up the game winner to Julio Rodriguez in extra innings in his debut to the Mariners, then a two and a third inning save in his second big league outing. And here he is in Anaheim trying to keep this thing a one run game. A ball, one strike to Neto. Out of the stretch, Slayton throws. I mean, he's just overpowering these hitters. That's a swipe sweeper, and it's one and two. Whitlock, Weissert, Campbell, and now Slayton. Garrett walked four and four and a third innings. One and two with two down and the base is empty. Check in on the Subaru of New England scoreboard in just a moment. Here's the one two. Little bit low, but we also want to remind you to stay tuned for the Nissan post game show. You deserve a car that thrills you, and Nissan's got an exciting. Full line that'll put goosebumps on your goosebumps. Shop, shop your local Nissan store at NissanUSA.com today. Two and two with two down, and the base is empty. Slayton throws. Just low with a slider. And the count is full. Yankees held on and beat the Blue Jays 9-8. to eight. walked off by the Pirates 5-4. Ray's thrilling comeback win in Colorado, they beat the Rockies 8-6. Three and two. Here's the pitch. Strike three called. Bottom of the zone. Inning over. Justin Slayton sees six hitters and strikes out five. Stud alert for Slayton. We go to the ninth inning. Slated to hit Reyes, Devers, and O'Neill. 2-1. Angels lead on the Shaws and Star Market. WEEI Red Sox Network. At Enterprise, we know you're constantly on the move. Getting this. Thanks, Mom. Fixing that. You reach a destination. And then it's on to the next. And when life is moving at the speed of, well, life, Enterprise is right there with you. Around the corner and around the globe. We'll keep you moving forward. Enterprise. For lives in drive. Cup Noodles is now in a paper cup. Now easier. Now faster. Now microwavable. The original Cup Noodles. Same noodles, same great taste. Now in a microwavable paper cup. Embrace your outdoor space with a new low-maintenance TimberTech deck from Riverhead Building Supply. Get creative with different styles of railing, accent colors, deck lighting, and more. Find TimberTech decking at all Riverhead Building Supply locations and online at rbscorp.com. Hey, it's Fitzy from Six Rings and Football Things. It's not just a podcast. It's the 25th hour of the day. Your weekly source for all things New England Patriots. Right on time. Your time. In the car? Navigate the streets of the NFL offseason with wisdom in your ear. We accompany every errand you need to run. Washing the windows or vacuuming the carpets? Don't just clean. Conquer. Podcasts make you more productive because we fit perfectly into your schedule. Follow Six Rings and Football Things in the Odyssey app or wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, this is Liam Hendricks. You're listening to the home of the Red Sox, WEEI. All right, on we go into the ninth inning. The Red Sox trailing the Angels 2-1. to one. Carlos Estevez is the closer. He's on. He's 2-2 two, two in saves. And you'll see Reese McGuire, who will pinch hit for Pablo Reyes. Pablo had a rough night at the plate tonight. 0 for 3 with 3 strikeouts. So McGuire, Devers... And Tyler O'Neill. 
to unearn runs on the misplay by Devers, the real key in this game. See if McGuire has been so hot, six for 19 to start the game. Start the season, leads it off. He takes a fastball inside. Actually, a slider at 87 off the plate and in. And it's 1 0 to Reese. Sox just three hits tonight. Here's the pitch. Taken all the way for a strike. Slider at the bottom of the zone. And it's one and one. Play McGuire to pull a little bit on the infield. Estevez. Fastball at 97. Slider and a changeup. But primarily a two pitch guy with a lot of fastballs and sliders. Dominant stuff from the right side. One and one. McGuire waits the pitch. Swing and a miss. Fastball 96. And it's one and two. 31 years old. First year with the Angels a season ago with 31 saves. The one two fouled back. Reese just got a piece of a 96 mile an hour fastball. Last year he appeared in 63 games. For the Angels, 31 saves, fourth most in the AL. One and two to McGuire, the pitch. Low. That changeup uh, looked like a splitter in a lot of ways in the dirt, and it's two and two. He just absolutely loved to get the leadoff man aboard here with Devers on deck. Two balls, two strikes. Here's the pitch. Strike three called. On the inside corner, painted fastball, and there's one away. In the end, they went right after him. And you like McGuire in this spot because the way he's going right now, you know he's going to give you a quality at bat. So he sees six pitches, but he just couldn't pull the trigger. That got plenty of the inside half of the strike zone. So now with one down here is Raffi, who is one for three with a base hit. Pitch outside, barely. Slider and it's one and oh. Tyler O'Neill is on deck. Pitch outside, good take. A real hitters count here for Devers. Two and oh. In camp, the early part of the season, he was Devers, very selective. So he looks to do here. Two and oh. Pitch. Swing and a miss. I'll tell you what he was looking to do. That is tie the game with one swing. That was a ball. He swung at it. It's two and one. David Hamilton, the only guy left on the bench. If Raffi reaches, that'd be a decision for Alex Cora. Two one. That's outside. And it's three and one. In these close games in extra innings, I think the calculus for a manager like Alex does change. With the automatic runner rule, where you'd, you'd be more willing to go for it and pinch run. Three and one, the pitch. Swing and a pop up foul on the third base side out of play. <laughs> Raffi's trying to hit one to Irvine, and it's three and two. Yeah, that, that was it, man. Belt high, 96, pretty much center cut. Just missed it. He's not happy. The shoulder is bothering him, whether he admits it or not. Wincing a little bit, he will. Pass for time. Three balls, two strikes. 2-1 Angels. One down in the ninth. The pitch. Swing and a high fly down the left field line. It'll stay in the yard. And in comes Ward. He's there to make the play. And the Red Sox are down to their last out. After that first slider missed, he just got five straight fastballs and couldn't quite square it up. Estevez, he's been one of the better closers in the AL, at least last year. He's got to have a lot of late movement on that four-seamer. So now the last hope for the Sox is Tyler O'Neill. Two down in the ninth, 2-1 LA. Tyler the night. 0 for 2 with a walk, the pitch. Swing and a miss. That was nasty. A slider. Down and out of the zone. That's strike one. Red Sox danced through trouble all night long. A one. That's right there. Slider for strike two. Angels left ten men on base in the first six innings. Oh two. High pop up. 
Will it stay in the yard? It looks like it will. Rendon on the warning track by the dugout is there to make the play. And the ball game is over. The Angels win this one 2-1. to one. They have split the first two games of this series. The Devers error so costly and truly the difference in the game. Angels 2, Red Sox 1. Nissan Post Game Show is next on the Shaws and Star Market. WEI Red Sox Network. Baseball is boring. Let's welcome in Red Sox pitcher Tanner Houck. I think we're at like pretty close to like max like what the human body can do. Like I don't know how much more we can really get out of out of the human body in terms of baseball pitching wise. But now I think you're gonna see you know people throwing sliders at 20 horizontal at like 88 MLB the show type stuff. Baseball is boring. Available on the Odyssey app or wherever you get your podcast. There are any number of reasons you might consider selling your home. To move closer to family, live within a smaller budget, or just wanting a change of scenery. Whatever your reasons, having to figure out all the various housing market trends in your area may not be what you signed up for. That's where an agent who is a Realtor comes in. Realtors have the expertise to help you find the right price and navigate the process to sell your home in a way that's right for you. That's who we are. Realtors are members of the National Association of Realtors. Hey, you. Dan Hanover from Event Marketer here. I want to make sure that you've put April 24th to the 26th on your calendar to be at the Experiential Marketing.